Opie and Anthony. Full house. We got Rich Voss. We got Jim Jeffries, who's doing his HBO taping uh, tomorrow night. I'm going. Yeah. A lot of the fans going. Right. We need a lot of energy tomorrow night for Jim <laughs> Jeffries. Good crowd. We need a really good crowd. This is a very, very important uh, thing for Jim. Filming an HBO special. That's huge. And then later this morning, we got uh, Dr. Dirty uh, checking in. John Valby. Oh, yeah? He'll stop by. I think he's playing, too, which is cool. Is he bringing his uh, little keyboard? I sure hope so, because he's a bore without it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest here. And uh, for the first time on our show, Kevin Nealon. Really? We've said no to Kevin Nealon. I can't even count that high anymore. But uh, he's great on weed, so we said, all right, what the hell? Bring him in. Bring him in to say hi to everybody. What else do you want to talk about? The world's falling apart in front of us. So. It really is. It's it's kind of... Uh, okay. I, last night, I was kind of getting a little distressed about it. Are you starting... Not, not crazy you're distressed. You're starting to feel that itch? But like, I was starting to look and just go, wow. like Because I, I, I troll the websites like Drudge, and let me, and I'm looking, reading, and I'm just going, wow, this is good. Let me give you three headlines. Stocks fall again. Yeah. They're... they're uh, it has the stock market hasn't been this low since 1997. Excuse me. Yeah, and it's going lower. Of course it is. More people lost their jobs last month than in any month since what year? 1948. Oh. Uh, yeah. 1936. I heard on the news. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much right. 1949. Oh, 49. And over 40,000 <laughs> people. This is this is the biggest headline of the morning because this is the type of thing you're going to see more and more of. Over 40,000 people protest budget cuts at City Hall in New York City. Yeah. 40 to... Uh, I heard it's well, like 50,000. Yeah, they got nothing 50, to do. 50,000 people <laughs> not happy. Let me it's tell all you. getting together at the same time. Un they're just playing unruly with mob. Huh? It's an unruly mob. It certainly was. 50,000 people. Let me explain something to you about that whole health care thing. Uh, they're, they're running huge campaigns on uh, the, the news here in, in New York City because... Um, Obama uh, is giving a bunch of money to New York for health care. And he said, this isn't a blank check. This is for health care. And now our governor, Governor Cockeyed. Governor Patterson. Governor who, Patterson. Who, by the way, took up jogging recently. We never got to that Did story. He? Watch out for that tree. <laughs> I see him run right into one. So uh, Governor Patterson is apparently cutting a lot of health care uh, programs uh, and, and laying off a bunch of people. Um, and they're saying, well, if Obama's handing you this money and saying it's not a blank check, it's got to go to health care, uh, you're, you're not doing the right thing. But actually he is, in a way, because he's cutting the money before the new money comes in. It's like, you know, you take from Peter to pay Paul kind of a thing. But I've noticed the ads are very deceiving. They try to make, and they always do this, they try to make it seem like they want to help you. Yeah. These ads come on, on and it says, you know, Governor Patterson wants to take away your health care. Health care that was <laughs> promised to you by President Obama. And he's closing hospitals. This will mean less health care for you. And then you notice it's sponsored by the health care workers. Right. They don't care about you. They care about their gigs, their jobs, which, of course, they should. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but don't. Don't whiz down my back and tell me it's raining. Mm -hmm. I understand what you're trying to do here. You're trying to save your own jobs. And the truth of the matter is people are losing jobs. they got to cut back. The city's got to cut back. They're talking about even uh, or uh, evening up the tax thing. Or everyone that was carrying a sign for these health care workers want, again, to do what Obama said in New York State, which is tax everybody making over $250,000 a year. Mm -hmm. Families, mm -hmm. which isn't in New York isn't rich. I'm sorry. If you're sitting there going, that is rich. It's not. If you're making that in New York. Move. Shut up. Well, if you're making it in Buffalo. If you're making it in Buffalo, you're, you're, a, you're king. a billionaire. You're a billionaire. You're the king of Buffalo. Yeah, yeah but, but New, the zombies it's, it's are going to take York out City. Buffalo first. So. It's New yeah. York City. It doesn't matter if you're All I'm saying is, the king these, of these healthcare workers, it's a big sham that it's not saved for the children and for healthcare and this. They, they want to save their jobs because they're going to be about 7,000 of these people laid off if uh, if they don't make some concessions. <laughs> and uh, yeah, look who's got all the healthcare jobs. Look who's got all the health care jobs. What, who, who's Stop got... complaining. Well, they're working. I yeah. know. I'm saying that's fine, but it's like, just stop bitching. People all are right. going to get sick. What with their unemployment? 
Well, you know something? We're in some hard times. I don't know how many concessions yeah, the Opie and Anthony show has made. <laughs> We've made plenty of concessions. I'm all right. I just got free watermelon and an egg McMuffin. Yeah, me too. Right. <laughs> so, so everything's well, working a good day out for you. I was, yeah, yeah. I was talking to somebody yesterday big in show business, and they're going, Everybody. No, you weren't, first yeah, of all. Yeah, big in show business, really? Her name is really? Bonnie, and you listen to me. Bonnie. <laughs> that knows... All around the country, no matter what, you just keep hearing no's. You know, people are just running so scared. It's because you're Jewish. <laughs> and no's. No, no, they're not saying no's. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, I thought they were doing that stereotype. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry, Rich. Uh, I didn't mean uh, that. It was, you know uh, the difference between the Jew and you? I didn't lose 100,000. Shut up. Oh! oh. Never had it. That's not any juice. Oh. Why don't you just say I'm rubbing your glue? Listen, oh, you stop it! it. No, Buy another I'm used rub friggin' Mercedes that smells like cabbage. I'm <laughs> rubbing your Jew. <laughs> never forget that. <laughs> <laughs> so no, nose save jobs. Wait, I didn't say that right. What? What? When you say no, you don't lose your job over no. Yeses are what lose jobs. When uh, people say yes, they have a ch chance of losing their gig. When you say no, it's still safe. Do you understand? Uh, like you mean green light and something? Yeah, yeah there's exactly. a lot of TV yeah, yeah. shows and stuff yeah. aren't going ahead, but they're yeah, just cause... paying people to sit there and wait. Yeah, a lot so of executives it's... just cower in the corner. They sit in their office, lock the door, no decisions are made, and they just sit there waiting for the, you know, the axe to fall. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, no one's doing anything right now. No work is getting done, believe me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yet, golf course prices haven't dropped. I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, my word. And, and Chris Brown can still afford a Lamborghini with blood on it. <laughs> you hear about this, Chris Brown? Yeah, this yeah. Chris Brown. I watched it uh, on the news. You, I watched you, this morning. You oh. know what? It's worth doing. We got kind of the highlights. Chris Brown yeah. and what he did to this Rihanna. Oh, oh there's a picture. Oh, right there. huh? They were just showing a picture. Yeah. Of Rihanna. Oh, is oh, he went to town on her, and she's gone back to him. Her face is all brown that and beat up. Her face looks like your liver. <laughs> what does that say to every she's, girl at home? That, she's stupid. Now, yeah. now I'm done. Yeah, yeah. Y'all, everyone felt sorry for Rihanna, and then you find out they're back together. You're whatever. I whatever did, happens to you, you deserve it now. You, you, you it dumb weird. broad. When he was jet skiing, and then everyone in the news was going, "Can you believe it? He's jet skiing!" And it's like, what? When's when's the reasonable amount of time after beating a woman when you're allowed to jet ski? Again? <laughs> <laughs> when does it become socially acceptable? I think acceptable? a week. Oh, right. But it was no. a, it was a month. Yeah, you oh, waited okay. a month. Then he's fine. He's they got were good. saying he's jet skiing because he's black and he can't swim. That's what they were saying. <laughs> oh, oh, Rich. Rich. Oh, Rich. Oh, 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 I was trying to make a joke, and instead we all get juice. fired. Great, Rich. Yeah, what is Great. This day yeah, stuff I, and I like did a nice a joke to... about beating women, and you had to turn it sour. Yeah. Way to go, Rich. You know, I don't need Reverend Al Sharpton on my ass. Yeah. <laughs> you can't. You He's downtown racist. right now, <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> my God. My God, man. Yes, I want to say that was Rich Voss. <laughs> Uh, not Opie and Anthony. Right. And, uh, I apologize to anybody me. that uh, it was offended by Rich Voss's remarks. I want that known immediately. Right. Oh, I'll tell you uh, what. We do not condone right. uh, the remarks of our guests. Right. And uh, uh, <laughs> way to go, Rich. No way to go. Let me finish my apology. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do a poll. Uh, we yeah. don't put up with that kind of racism here. Thank you, Steve from Bayshore. Right. We will never put up with that type of racism right. here on this program, Rich Voss. And if that happens again, I personally, and I'm, I've never done this before, but I will personally ask Keith to have you removed from the studio because that type of racism... My God, who's being punched in the face? The bus driver? Yeah. The bus By driver. who? By who? Uh, it it <laughs> looks, looks like Rich. a Jewish man. Looks like a Jewish man. Rich! <laughs> Rich! <laughs> yeah, let's just say the guy can't swim. Right. <laughs> Rich! It's Jesus. not racist. So first of all, I'm part black, so it's not racist. You're not. Oh, you're not. The original, yes, uh, really? Are you talking about the original tribe the of original Israel? The original tribe of Israel, yes. Yeah, all right. Yes. Oh, good. For yeah. You. Uh, I, I'm just uh, trying to look uh, out and say, so my people all right. were not swimmers. All right. Listen, we got the Chris Brown all over every TV, so why don't we play the highlights, make it very easy for everybody. Yeah. We make it, uh, we, we go right to the facts here. He, he had good technique, though. He was able to drive and punch at the same time. He, would, yeah. he had her in a chokehold. It seems driving. like he's done it before. Yeah. so good.
He was smashing her face against the window. Yeah. Uh, the yeah. passenger window, which is a talented move because usually that'll make your car weave. Yeah. And also, a Lamborghini, that's a very slanted window. That's oh, not an yeah. easy move. No, it's not like no. you do in a, a people mover yep. where you're right up close. That's a real sort of smashing upwards right. motion. Yeah, yeah. You got to kind of go down and up. Oh, yeah, down and up. Face. Bang! Right. In the thing. Yes, yes. And then go, oh, I'm going to kill you. Here what are go. you doing? You're not coming to the Grammys. <laughs> Here we go. TMZ releasing this video of the R&B singer in court. And here's why he may want to strike a deal. A search warrant used to get phone records reveals a detective's description of what happened on the eve of the Grammys. It says, first Rihanna read a three-page text message from a woman to Brown. That's when the argument began. Brown tried to force Rihanna out of the car, but he couldn't because she had her seatbelt on. He shoved her head against the window, then punched her, and continued to punch her while driving. Her mouth filled with blood. It splattered all over her clothes and the interior of their rented Lamborghini. Oh, oh that's a, that's such a nice car, a Lambo. Oh, you know something? That? And it's rented. I thought this guy had a bit of cash renting. Yeah. I can rent a Lamborghini. Rented the Lamborghini. Yeah, but, yeah, but can you bang on. Rihanna? No. Oh, I can now. What, against the, against the window? <laughs> I, I can do it now. She's all weak and knee. She's taking Chris Brown back. I, have it. I'm back. A, I, I can tell you what, if I was going to hit you, it'd be one punch and a cry and a bit of an apology. Yeah. Right? None of this keep on doing it while I'm driving stuff. But in, in contrast to Chris Brown, I'm a good catch. Well, it, can, yeah. it continued. During the alleged attack, Brown tells Rihanna, quote, I'm going to beat the blank out of you when we get home. Oh, you boy. wait and see. Rihanna calls her assistant who doesn't answer, but she leaves a message saying, quote, I'm on my way home. Make sure the cops are there when I get there. Mm. Brown tells Rihanna, quote, you just did the stupidest thing ever. Now I'm really going to kill you. And they're back together. But, you know, I, yeah. I, 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 I could care less Love what is happens special. to this broad but When now. he said beat the blank out, what was the blank, do you reckon? S. Yeah, the, the big S word. Sometimes you say F, though. But uh, well, you can say beat the crap out of you. Right. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. So it's like, you know. But if, if they're saying blank, then he, it, then he went with the S. Yeah. And yeah. then you've done the stupidest thing. Uh, yeah. That's, that's wrong. I want to know what this Because you know that the text message was. It was a bit of, you know, I can't wait for you to A, B, C, and D me. Yeah, right, 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 right. I used to I used to have a. When I was cheating on my girlfriend, who I don't <laughs> see anymore, I always used to. Because in your phone, you can put several numbers in under one person's name. There was, there was a gay friend of mine. Alan Carr, he's quite a very famous comic in Britain, and I'd always put like the girls under his name. So if any sexy oh. text came and it flashed up on the phone, my girlfriend would look at him and I'd go, oh. you know, you know those fags, how uh, aggressive they are. <laughs> how <Hey>? aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> they're always trying to, they're always trying to try it on with you, aren't they? You scheming. You're insane. Another one, I, had, I knew she was going through my phone, so what I, what I. Uh, what I did was I got my best mate Jason, and yeah. I changed his name to Cindy yeah. in my phone, and then I sent a text from Jason's phone to my phone that said, I want to S your D, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> yes. And then and then I just left on the phone, on the table, and went, I think I'll go off and have a shower. I, I hadn't even turned the hot water in before I had that phone thrown at my head. <laughs> <laughs> and I was there going, call it! I oh, dare you. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Call the Jason answers. Hey there, buddy. What's happening? Why are you calling me? <laughs> <laughs> so these are little tips uh, that I give great. to the cheating man out there. Who, who one, means, uh, those are good. So those you don't have advice. to smash a woman's face into yeah. the, the dashboard speak, of her. Speaking of which, to bring it back around, the third part of the beating. The affidavit says Brown continued to punch Rihanna while driving. He placed her in a headlock and bit her left ear. At one point, she began to lose consciousness, and the biting continued. Brown bit her left ring and middle fingers, then released her. TMZ's Harvey Levin spoke to us tonight in New York. She told police that he has done this to her before, and the way she put it to them, that this was a case of escalating violence. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. uh, Escalating violence. That that's that usually and she, and she, ends and up. And he's younger than her, isn't she? He's like she, nineteen or twenty. He's that's 19, twenty-four or something. Oh, she's oh, nineteen or twenty, right? He's, he's a year younger than she is. Yeah, they're all. They're both like early right, twenty years kids. old. Yeah, yeah. Another, another rapper, like a famous one, goes, "Oh, we're gonna take care of this." Yeah. What? Who was it? Like I mean, oh, there was me. Uh, there was there was rumors yeah. out there. You, you I don't, don't know, know about my DJ rap Jazzy Jeff. I am. Yeah, DJ, was Will Smith? Yeah, these, Not even. His lyrics Smith. might be nice. The other guy. <laughs> <laughs>
You know, she deserves whatever she gets now. Whatever. Uh, Back together. She's just she, stupid. You know, she, just, this, she's is, stupid. this is going to smash her career up as well. Yes. Like, his career's over. That's that's point blank. His career's over now, right? Yeah. But if she stays with him, that's her career as well. Because no, if, if she comes out all powerful and, and all, you know, yeah. I, I you have to stand up. And she can even do ad campaigns and all that type of stuff. And she'll be an Oprah and all that stuff. She'll come out of it very well. Like, it will actually help her career. Right. If she stays with him, she's done. Because... I've always been a mogul in the music industry and could always pick the trends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you always know. Yeah. If anyone wants the information, come to me on who's going to get famous. Uh, let's go to. You Mo know what she should? Uh, you know what she should do, though. Really, honestly, just f one of the most hardcore rap guys, videotape it, and then send it to him. It would just if he beat her for for you know, uh, uh, if he beat her like that, that would devastate him. Just crush him mentally like that. Mm. Uh, she's just, oh, this could be you. And this just in, she's not going to testify. Well, he should go to prison. He, he got two felony charges yesterday, right? Yeah. And she's not going to testify in the case, supposedly. She's wow. getting paid off or threatened. No, she's got more threatened. money than him. Yeah. You oh, got, yeah? She's, got more, she's a bigger yeah, star than he yeah, is. Yeah, she's had massive hits in the last couple of years. Picture you she and Bonnie. We're doing what? It's doing what? It's the relationships like that. She's the one that really yeah. is more talented. Oh, yeah. She makes more of the money. Mm -hmm. Things like well, that. Well, she has to make more money, but she's And more then talented. you're the hanger on kind of, you know. Uh -huh. She doesn't make more yeah. money. Want even, to punch her in the face. Even, even in joking form, you were willing to defend your and, cash. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> we were obviously making fun of you. No, she doesn't make more money. No, 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 no,
Didn't they deem that though? That that never happened. That never happened. I'm just saying, like I just knew it. It's not some rumors. Really? No, he's he's like the nicest guy in the world. He works for charity. He's a good father. Well done, Bex. (laughs) (laughs) And it was it was Jay Z that made the comment about we going to handle Jesus Christ. Jay- no, Jay Z. Oh, Jay Z. Jay Z is Jay-Z. Jesus Christ. Different story. <laughs> so this kid, Chris I mean, Brown, has got to live uh, looking over his shoulder forever, huh? Listen, man. Yeah, we'll Jay- see. Jay Z was the Jay Z got other fish to fry. He got a bigger situation to deal with. Like what? So, I mean, it's other things going on in hip hop right now that he got to deal with. That that little Chris Brown situation ain't. And that's not even a radar on his on his map right now. You know what I mean? It's radar not even on a blip on the radar. You know what I mean? <laughs> blip on his thing. I <laughs> hear. Yeah, so. But that's not even a road on his globe. I'll go with it's not even a cyst on his hip. Little, ah, a, yeah, little A-Rod. Topical. Tie in. Thank <laughs> you. Good it's one. not even a cyst on his hip. Right there, well, Malik. I want to know what other things are going in on hip-hop that are bigger than this. Yeah, yeah. what's bigger than this We're there, Malik? Killed. To have a fish I, I, we, got, we got the insider uh, on the phone here. Hey, Malik. All right, for one, you got, you got 50 Cent. And this new guy is coming out. Well, he's been out for a while. His name is Rick Ross. Dude, we had all the slow down. We're we're all about that. We had Fifty Cent on our show. You're we, saying in Rich Voss? We're in on that one. Yeah. Is that what he said? Oh, you you and Fifty? We're at war right now. There's a little yeah, rap battle Ross. going on with this uh, Fifty Cent. And this guy, uh, whatever. A yeah. couple of the Australian Rick rappers, Ross. the New Zealand rappers, are going at each other as well. It's really wow. Oh, it's yeah. really that's got to be hardcore. Oh yeah. Right. Kangaroos so versus the Wallabies. Means, yeah. They project over to Jay. And also, you got Jay's protege, or I don't want to say his protege, but the guy who brought Jay into the game when he first came in the game. You know, Jay said a comment against him, and now he's getting at Jay, and he's exposing a lot of things about Jay Z that people didn't know. Like you know what? what? So Jay, like you know, Jay talked about he came in the game as this big hustler and Marcy projects or whatever, whatever have you. And you got guys that you know brought him in the game as like, nah, he wasn't this big. Gangster, what you think he was? You know what I'm saying? He was an average dude. Don't 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 be mistaken by what he said. Mm-hmm. If he put himself in a position to get to get the money and the, and the power, what he got, you know what I'm saying? It was because he made smart moves. But don't believe everything that this dude says. You know what I mean? Ninety first of all, ninety eight percent of hip hop is fake anyway. What about Coolio? What's happening with him? Because <laughs> he was just on Britain's Big Brother and he came second. Everyone really liked him. Oh God, really? Yeah, yeah. He came second, third was the mini me out of. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Austin Powers. Isn't there, isn't there rappers like certain rappers that have like colognes and change their names a lot that wasn't really a thug growing up either? Oh, shut up, Rich. You know oh, wow. oh, 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 I'm Rich. Asking, I'm asking All right, Malik, we're gonna let you go. No, we're, 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 we're hey, going what's your Malik? pack, man? You've let a lot of secrets out. What's yeah, no your pack? You don't want it to be shot. You got yeah. a cap in your ass. We, we got to take a break, but we got two quick calls. We got to get to Katie in Jersey. Katie, go ahead. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. Um, I was wondering what you guys thought about Rihanna being endorsed by CoverGirl and Gillette and all that. Like, are they still going to support her if she goes back with a man that beats her? It's now going to be called Cover Up Girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They would, they would look really bad if they dropped her uh, yeah. as a spokesperson because they would look like they don't. Um, right. They're the, not for you know, the, the new wounds. adverts are going to be for foundation I, covering. Yeah, your, makeup would be yeah, covering your friggin' wounds. <laughs> I gotta jump in because Melanie is a little mad at us here, and uh, this is amazing. Go ahead, Melanie. I'm not only really mad. I'm just. Um, you don't know what it's like to be in an abusive relationship unless you're in one. I oh! do too. I've, I was I've in been one. in ones yeah, called marriage. Them. My hands used to hurt on a daily basis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's the matter, Melanie? What happened? It's Are you? Just, she just, you know, this being in the public, she should now see and have her wake up call. But when you're in a relationship, it takes something major for you to realize that you're in a bad relationship. Major. Yeah, she was head hospitalized. Head your head being with a mouthful of blood. So, yeah. you, so yeah. you ex you accept the fact that a guy uh, is beating you up? You don't accept it because you don't really know. Oh, you're insane. Oh, that's insane. Oh. You, you're stupid. Oh, you know All what? you broads are stupid Can if you're allowing, some time? Like if you're allowing your man to beat the crap Watch out of Watch that you. movie with Farrah Fawcett where she The Burning it. Bed. Yeah. Right. Uh, what are you first talking like, about? You don't have people in your lives that... That can help you out. There's a yeah, way like, out. The prisons yeah. are full of, full of women that figured out a way out. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't know that you're getting beat up by a mirror, here's the thing. It's because we don't want to move into small effects. Oh, we can't all talk at the same time. It doesn't work. Really know. Yeah. If you've not been or seen someone that's been abused, you don't know it until you're through it. And 
Like I said, I was with the man for 10 years. 10 and years. I didn't realize what was going on and how badly I was being abused until one day when he threatened to take off with my child. Then I sat and talked to someone, and I realized what the hell was going on for those 10 years. Melanie. And I put an end to it. Melanie, how could 10 years go by? This has always boggled me. I know there's some kind of psyche thing that's going on with abused women, and it, it, it extends back into their childhood and things like that and stuff, blah, blah, blah. But how could you go 10 years watching people? Did you, did you think that every woman was being beaten at home and it was just a normal thing? You don't think of it in that way All right. when you're well, in a relationship. Okay, so, so the answer is no. How do you then go about 10 years... And, and not, didn't it hit your mind occasionally going, his fist? No, didn't it hit your mind occasionally uh, at, where you would say like, wow, this is bad. This isn't like I see my friends in kind of nice, loving relationships or at least relationships where the, the girl isn't being beat up. Well, when you're not, when this is your first relationship that you've ever been in and oh. you've never had anything to compare it to or when oh, you're isolated from uncle. friends. That don't. I had a kid. Yeah. <laughs> you had a kid. When you don't, yes, did, did you I have the kid with him? Yes. Right. Okay. Well, that, 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 that makes it a little how, bit. How old were you when you hooked up with this guy? I was nineteen, fresh out of high school, and right into college. And I had never dated in high school. Just you know, I was friends with all of my guy friends, and never, never had a relationship. So I didn't know what he was doing to me was abuse. Yeah. Can I ask you something? Uh, mm -hmm. first, like, like you hooked up and of course he was probably all sweet, and nice and everything. First time he beat on you. What were you thinking? You must remember that first time. Kind of run us through it quickly. It was just that, okay, this was a fluke thing. You know, it, it's yeah. never happened before. It's not going to happen again. Or what did I do that provoked him to... You know, be wait, that way. Wait, uh, let me jump in. Melanie, what did he do to you the first yeah, time? Yeah, yeah. I want to know, like, what the situation was because all of a sudden um, he's, like, some sweet guy. And then, like, how did you... He was smart, though. He never he never put his hand literally on me. He would throw objects, like inanimate objects, and and beat me down verbally and everything and throw things at me. Like, well, that's called a relationship. Oh, I've done that. All right, wait, oh, wait. That's oh, not, no, wait. No, no, no. It depends on the object, though. Was it like a Nerf ball or was it a frying pan? No, An anvil. Right. Fire. Big, <laughs> All right, what? He used big Yankee candles and big, huge glass <laughs> You smell like that. vanilla. Yeah, right. Let's, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've, What's wrong with smelling like abuse. lavender? She's in the high emergency room and people are like, you smell great. <laughs> I, I think you might just be hard to live with. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, so he never, like, rolled up a fist and belted you one. But it was Yankee Candles, one, large one ones, one by the way. One, one time he did. And what was the that day over? That I left, he choked me. He choked he, you on the... The day that I left, that I, when I was leaving... He had me by the throat trying to choke me to death. Now, why would you leave for, while he's around? Like, or why would you Why would you put yourself alone in the situation? He, he was saying he was throwing me out of the house. We got into an argument, and I told him that I was done. I was packing my stuff and my child's stuff to go to my parents, and he... Um, he didn't like it. We were in an argument, and one of many, and he just flipped the switch and started he choking tried you. To Did you ever call the cops on him? Ever in ten years? No, that at that point I would have, but a, a neighbor had seen what was going on and beat me to it. Awesome. So. Well, and I got to jump in because the women, the women, screw us. The women are pissed. Yeah. Uh, Jen in Westchester, go go ahead. You got Melanie on the line. Hi. Um, I was in a relationship. And it's not physically abusive relationship, but it was a multi abusive Oh, he beat you with the something. phone, right? Yeah, all right. <laughs> He's still beating you with your cell phone. No, no, no. She just hasn't got a speech book. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the way she talks. <laughs> oh, God damn, Jim. Let's go, funny. Let's go to Stacy in New York. Uh, Stacy, you're on with Melanie. Stacy. They call yes. me Stacy. Good morning. <laughs> Hi. I Give just want to say things, this, this woman is just, you know, I know abusive relationships are hard. I've never been in one, thank God, because I would never let it happen. Mm. Mm. a terrible so name to women. <laughs> and the fact yeah. that brought a kid into the world with this guy who probably sat there and let the kid see her be beat. And God knows if the kid was beat, I think she needs to grow up there and, you know, yeah. stop acting like it's okay. And, and mm. Rihanna's dumb as sh 
crap for going back with this guy, and she deserves whatever she gets. There you go. So what? There you go. <laughs> Melanie, what do you have to say about that? You know, I'm out of it. I've been out of it for five and a half years. Thank God my child was never hurt in any of it, and most uh, of what uh, went I, on was not in front of him. I, so, uh, I used to get the hell beaten out of me, but my parents never hit each other. So what's what's the more better situation here than... You know what I mean? Like, thank God the child was never... Like, come on, it was a, f a few thrown things. The choking, yeah. I'm going to say bad, but I'm... Bad. I'm going to say that this wasn't a horrific incident. It was probably a lot of psychological know. abuse. No, this sounds like it could have been pretty bad. How has it affected, uh, Melanie? Yeah, we got to take a break, but uh, how, is, how has it affected uh, how you have relationships now? Like, do you, are you in one? Uh, is the guy great? Do you Are you I leery now of this? I started the, one. What? Um, yeah? I just started a relationship after five years. Um, it was horrible because you just never With Chuck Liddell, around. she's going out. <laughs> do you flinch you, a lot? You walk around going, you know, is this guy for real? Is he going to... Tomorrow, like the other one did. Oh, so you, you're thinking that because you know women uh, uh, like that are uh, that are in uh, relationships, abusive relationships, usually end up yeah. going back into another one. Yeah. They kind of almost seek I out guys that are. Shortly, I did shortly after. You did afterwards, but at least I was started to see the signs. And it was like as soon as he started to yell or get irate or something, I was like, you know what? Screw you, I'm done, and would walk away from and walked away from it. Does your ex still see the kid? Unfortunately, yes. Mm. Yeah, it's it's, it's a good. dad. Yeah. Really no, I don't. Gross mama I, I belt in the I, face. I don't like when they say that. Unfortunately. No. Nah, well, we got to take we got to take a break. Dads, dads have as much right to see. Kids. I like his fascinating stories. Though. Oh yeah, it's I, very. It's Stop. a very special episode of even the yeah. Opie and Anthony show. Even if you're in prison, you have the right to see yeah. your kids. You oh, know I, I mean? So I, I can't unfortunately, yes. Yeah. You know, right. you know I'll throw kids. a frying pan at her if you said right. I couldn't see my right. kids. <laughs> All right, we got to take a break. Jim Jeffries <laughs> doing his big HBO uh, taping tomorrow night. Uh, uh, can they still get tickets, Jim? Um, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, but give it's it a gotta go. Be, it's got to be uh, sold Jim out. Jeffries at broadwayvideo.com, your email. Yeah, and so. we're looking for a really, really good comedy Pete, crowd Pete tomorrow. Into laughing, this man. is a big day for Jim <laughs> Jeffries. Big day. And Rich, uh, uh, filling in for Jimmy Tay, what do you got? Uh, March 20 and 21, the Arlington Draft House Theater in Arlington, Virginia. Got a busy one this morning. Opie and Anthony, Jim Jeffries, J uh, Jim Norton is out in San Francisco. We got Rich Voss filling in for oh. Jimmy. Uh, we want to talk about boating. We want to talk about something that happened at a uh, at a at a funeral, which is just amazing. A stranger just yeah, I heard about that. Story. It's a great story. We got to get to, but we have the women calling like crazy about uh, being abused, like crazy. Let's go to Christina in Brooklyn real fast. Christina, how are you? Good. Good. What's up? Um. Well. I, I'm a little offended by how many jokes are being made about the issue, and yeah. I just wanted to give you a place where you can go and get some facts, yeah. specifically about women in New York. Are we getting kind of facts just talking to different women and getting their opinion? Oh, there's a few jokes flying, but we think, yeah. we're, you know. Yeah, we, we, we don't. You know, we're yeah. we're kind of we're, we're we're pissed, show. man. Yeah. Rihanna is stupid to go back with Chris uh, Chris Brown. We were the ones the allegations are true. Go back, so. Right. Yeah. And but instead you know, of, you know how yeah, beating can lead to murder as well? No kidding. In 1996, mm. half of the murder victims, female murder, murder victims, were killed by someone they were intimate with. Yeah, that's usually the way. Yeah, yeah. 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 So it's important it's, to really take this. I can't this, keep a girlfriend. Uh, are we going to have a pop quiz? Cause, cause this, no, you know. uh, yeah, yeah. So wh why doesn't why doesn't somebody get in touch with her and tell her that uh, that stat, and perhaps she can then leave a relationship that might lead to her death? Yeah. You know what I think it's important for you guys to share with young women and young men? My my body. <laughs> <laughs> But listen, yeah, there's a lot of teens who don't know that getting hit is not a sign of how much he loves me. It's, it's not right. No, but but we've, we've been saying that we think it's wrong that she, that, that, that she was getting hit. And how dare she go back to him? Is that so happening I don't, a lot? See, I don't know how you're blaming us for saying that we're not. We're saying the wrong thing here. What the problem is, girls, it's, they don't understand because they go, I'm going to hit that. And they don't, they, you know. Oh, like, like I'm uh, going to hit that. Yeah. They're getting mi the hip-hop uh, lingo mis mixed up. It's and the mixed white messages. kids are going like, and oh, I got to hit good. that. Yeah. So then you hit it and, you know. and you're in trouble. Oh, my God. Yeah. Someone get that. the audio of I understand. Uh, the former president. His his wife had open heart surgery, I guess. Barbara oh, Bush. She's going to be Bush. okay. But he did a press conference where he was laughing and crying at the same time. <laughs> you got to see this. crying over here. 
I, I do you guys really want to help teens in New York? It would be great if you could tell them they can go to day1ny.org. You got and it. And find right. out Actually, how to get help to get away from their abusers, to get legal help, because teens don't know how to get out of the Let me tell you something, Christina. I already have a program set up for uh, teen girls in New York. It's called um, Facebook uh, slash Anthony Cumia. Yeah. Uh, that's a great program for uh, wayward teen girls. Yeah. You won't, I'm running my own little hostel at my you, house. You won't be hit by you, a fist. No, you won't be hit. Not by, not by a fist. Oh, it, it'll look like a fist, funny, though. If the rumors are true about Anthony. Do yeah. something good for funny, Do something good for the kids who need to know about how to get out of Being funny is good for New York. All right. What girls are getting everyone. hit? Stop getting yeah. hit. If you're getting hit, uh, stop getting hit. Yeah. Just leave the relationship. Leave the guy if you get hit. Right. My kids, you, if my kids got hit, I would fly to the guy's house and I go, what did they do? You know what you should do? Get a boat there. Hmm. What if uh, your daughter got got uh, hit? Which one? Because b- both of them are wise guys. So they, <laughs> yeah. they, they are Tell wise you the truth, <laughs> From what I've heard, they deserve it. So, okay, Rich, forget it. <laughs> uh, a lot of people say, like Dave on Long Island, where are the fathers of these girls who get yeah. beat? No uh, Marcus in Queens can't believe her father, Rihanna's father, is okay with her going back to Chris Brown. Uh, we got, uh, this is a good one, Mark in Pennsylvania. Then we're going to try to move on. Mark, go ahead. You're on the Opie and Anthony show. Big, nice setup, and there's Mark being a dud. Hey. Hello, hello, hello. Go ahead, Mark. Hello, you're on yeah, there. What's up? Okay, man. What's up, guys? Hey. hey. Yeah, listen, I, you know, my, my uh, mother was abused by my father for, you know, 30 years to sure. the point where I turned about 17 and I kicked the shit out of him. Oh, you did? Right. Oh, absolutely. You were one of those filed. scenes, those movie scenes where nice. the guy goes, Let her go, Dad! <laughs> and then there's like the big standoff between father and son, and the father realizes the son's old enough now to, to kick his ass, man! This, this is a lifetime movie. I, I hate it. those. Uh, Mark, Mark Curse, by the way, when he turned 17, yeah, yeah. he beat the crap out of his father. Yeah, but so for 13 years before you were born, this was going on? Mm. Oh, it was. It, it, so they was can't a, blame a, you. It was yeah. total, I was number. I was number three out of out of four kids. And your brothers never beat him up. My, they, they didn't have a set of Keonis. You know what I mean? My older brother, he was uh, always bigger, but he was just a uh, just a chicken. A chicken. Yeah, you kid. should beat him up. Do you uh, say you're one of fourteen kids? Three. No, I'm three. one of one oh. of four. Jesus. One of four. One oh, of four. okay. I thought he said fourteen. I'm like, what? What the? What, didn't leave much time for beating uh, mommy up. Yeah. I, I punched, well, I went to punch my dad out when he was just teasing me once when I was about sort of 17. When you start doing that thing when you think, I'm big enough now, I'm going to have a go at it. But the first punch you throw at the old man, because you sort of love him, right? <laughs> yeah. You sort of love the guy. You don't want to hurt him. You don't want to make your point. It's sort of like, uh, my punch was sort of like a light little tap to the shoulder. Where... He had no problem punching me in the face. <laughs> and my, my dad went, oh, you think you're a big man, are you? Come on, big man. Come on, let's have a go. Let's see what you can do. Right? Bang, he clocks me in the head. I, I, I was 21 the first time I, I punched my grandmother. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. With her arthritic, gnarled-up claw. She to punch back. Back. That is that uh, defining moment, which I personally never got. Me too. I never got to. Uh, I would never... No to, way. The idea of a fight with my father never even came into play. No way. He would have pulled out a gun and shot me if oh, I ever had the upper I'm hand. I'm still waiting to punch out one of my brothers because I had the promise my whole life that I was bigger as a baby, I was bigger as a thing, and I was going to be taller than him. And one day after all his picking, and I never I never became as big as him, and now he's no. a cop and all that type of stuff. But I'm going to punch him out one day. Maybe in his sleep. Mm. Now he's a cop Mate, with a big full head oh, of hair. I was a big full <laughs> head of hair, and he's a cop. And every time, and he's a weapons trainer. Oh, and, and every, and he's, he's a and, man. And he's the People, when, when, when they learn new holds from America and all that, my brother teaches it to everyone like that. And we come home, and my brother goes, we're at Christmas, and my brother goes, oh, yeah, there's a few new holds we've got worked out at the moment. Yeah. There's a few new positions we can, we've worked out. Jim won't just stand up and, and I'll then, show you. And then my mum goes, <laughs> do it on Jim. Do it on Jim. And I'm sitting eating my dinner going, I don't want to have a thing. Do it on Jim. And then, <laughs> do it and, on and, Jim. And then my brother stands around going, see how he's trying to resist? See how he's trying to resist? I can get the bloody hell off me. I want you to do it. I end up with my face on the floor and mum clapping. You better. Oh, wonderful! When he does that, you better watch that new move where he smashes your head into a Lamborghini window. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Uh, the the Rhiannon. <laughs> yeah, Mark, go ahead. Yeah, listen. My father was a lot like Anthony's father. He loved guns. Okay, he had guns everywhere in the house. He was 250 pounds and he was a Golden Gloves boxer. He was oh, insane. Oh. He was a crazy person. 
However, he you know he liked to drink. He was an alcoholic as well too. So I just like, like sort of knew when, features. when he was all when he was all lit up. I, that's when I beat the piss out of him. You know, oh, really? I love guns and I love all of those things like Anthony does, but I do not to this day. I've been married for twenty six years. I have four kids of my own, and I would never lay a finger on a woman. I yeah, but, uh, the, the, why does she get as lippy as your mum? <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's that, what's that? He was just making a joke. <laughs> it, was, it was a good one. <laughs> you know, those Aussies, have a, they have a strange sense of humor. I know, never, I, I, that, that's I, good, I, though, I, because I, they say that you start doing what your parents did to you, you were able to break the, yeah. what is it called? Chain, the chain. of the chain. Chain. Sure, you broke exactly. the chain. I, I, always, I, I good, think you either, you either do the same thing or the exact opposite, to tell you the You're truth. Right. Like You're I, right. There are certain things that my my father did and stuff that I, I just would never even fathom doing. Yeah. Uh, so I, I don't to think go either way. You think? <laughs> like, yeah, I don't think that. I would love to see the stats, though. I think more people, uh, you know, do the behavior mm -hmm. their parents did to them. Yeah, what, I hate to say it, but I think that's what really? happens. Yeah. What happens? Like the other day, we were I'm in such an argument, and I've never hit a woman in my life ever either. And she go, and we're in this major argument. She goes, "Go ahead, hit, hit me. That's what you want to do. What do you do? I mean, I didn't." But she almost gave me permission. Well, maybe it's, wow. Maybe it's her turn. Well, hey, Rich, maybe come you on, gotta you gotta explore that. Your twelve steps, brother. Uh, I know. Uh, I know. Listen, I didn't. Yeah, you're you're hundred percent right. I'm going to beat my kids so bad, <laughs> and I have no issue about it. And I mean this. This isn't a joke. There's too many little s heads yeah. running around the streets who deserved a bit of a slap when they were younger. I've never stolen in my life. I've never been a violent, but I'm going to yeah. beat the hell out of my kids because if they didn't, my mum didn't do that to me, I wouldn't have stayed the, alive. The new age thing is is uh, to not ever lay a hand on your oh. kid. They say that only verbal discipline and this and that and the other thing. But to tell you the truth, a lot of things I never did because I was petrified that I was going to get a, a uh. thrashing for doing them. My, I, my I, nephew was five years old, and he was in the kitchen. He's never been hit his whole life, right? Because my sister-in-law wouldn't do it. My brother, I know he secretly, the copy wants to hit him, but he can't do it, right? <laughs> and, and, and my mum's doing that thing that when, what grandmas do. We're going, taste this. Taste this with a spoon in the uh, kitchen. Yeah. And my nephew goes, I don't want to taste it. And then he goes, he goes, taste it. And he goes, F off. But he didn't get to the end of the F. Right, and my mum backhanded him, <laughs> bang yeah. across the room. He flies across. He's cowering in the corner, and I walk in and go, "What's happened to you, Max?" He goes, "No, no, no, hit me, no, no, hit me." And I go, "Well, you're not going to swear anymore, are you, mate?" <laughs> and then, and then my brother comes home, and this is two hours later. He's still going, "No, no, hit me, no, no, hit me." <laughs> he and, and then, and then, and then he goes, and my brother goes, "What did you do, mum?" I go, "He told Nana to f off." And then uh, my brother goes, "Well, you don't tell Nana that." And he goes, "I tell you what." If you tell your mum about this, I'll set Nana on you again. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. She, she, she would say something. <laughs> my kids grew up good because I used to waterboard them when they were young. <laughs> yes. What does waterboard mean? Really what does waterboard mean? Huh? What does waterboard mean? <laughs> torture. It's a, it's a torture they were using in Guantanamo. Oh, the, 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 the yeah. Taps. No, this is yeah. not just taps of water. No, it's, it's, they pretty much pour. tie you up and, and get you at the brink of drowning oh, and yeah. they pull you up and my say, My mother hey, used to wait till we were asleep. Like, tell us everything was okay. Let us all go to bed, and then she'd come in and smash all your furnishings in while you're asleep, while you're five, yeah. and go, clean it up, and then you'd be going, oh, Jesus. Man, Christ, that's that's bad. It's a John Crawford movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We'd fall asleep, and my dad would come in and rape us. Oh, oh, I can't Rich. believe Rich, that. We're Rich, that's Rich. a Jew thing. You wouldn't oh, have <laughs> all is going nice until that's then. It. And that's, it was and that's nice. Why, that's and that's why nice. Voss doesn't have his original teeth. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mark, you got anything else? That's good, right? You're, yeah, you're actually, all good? I got, uh, listen, I just want to say you guys are awesome radio. You know, you, Jimmy, and Jimmy. Well. And uh, I love you guys. And I just want to say any woman that allows a man to touch him like that and they don't get out of that relationship are totally insane. All right. 100%. Just want to remind I, you, we're also heard on satellite radio. Thank you, Mark. Uh, you guys are you guys are all punching out. All right, Mark. I, punching I, I, out. Very funny. <laughs> Melody has to. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm punching out. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Marlene in Queens, it's hard to leave a guy who abuses you. Happened to me. You want one more of these? Before yeah, the break? one more because there is we some do have to psyche. take a break. There is something. Mar I think it's got a lot to do with uh, not wanting to leave the apartment. By yeah, the way, it's uh, very hard to find things. a new flat. By the way, before we get to Marlene, Stephen S. from Bayshore on instant feedback writes: The Chateau Kumia Teen Girl Shelter in Cuddle Den has been in business for well over a year. Ah, 
Yes, that's true. And Marlene hung up. She hung up. Either that or her husband hit her with the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Got a good shot on her. <laughs> I like to think that the guy listens to the show heard Marlene. Wait a minute. Yeah, wait a minute. That's my wife. That's my wife in the other room. <laughs> He's coming out wet with the towel around him. Who are you talking shower. to? Right. Cracks her right in the phone. You ain't talking to those guys. <laughs> She's got number marks on her ear right now. Um, my, my, uh, my, what was that it? was her big moment to get help. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was her moment. <laughs> we just blew it by saying Marlene's on the phone. Yeah, we but we blew it for an email from Steve from Bayshore. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> She's just, to get a, just to get a funny line in before the call. <laughs> we just blew it for her. <laughs> Sorry, Marlene. Now he's got a wooden block between her ankles. <laughs> yeah, he's going to hobble her. My, my mate used to ring the children's helpline as a prank phone call. Oh, God. <laughs> right, this is true. Right, bring the bring the children's helpline, the one where you talk about if you're an abused child, and yeah. he'd, he'd get his son to get on the phone and go, "Hello, <laughs> hello." <laughs> right, then he'd walk in the room and go, "Who are you talking to?" <laughs> <laughs> I have to go. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, that's what he tells me. Yeah. It's, oh, a, it's a great story. All right, uh, we're going to get uh, Rich's opinions on uh, boating because he had a lot to say during the last break. <laughs> of course, he that didn't make the radio yet. He doesn't like yeah. boating. He doesn't like boating. We're going to get into that in just a bit. And this strange story of this uh, woman going nuts at a funeral. Can I want to listen to the crying bush? Yeah, we're going to try to get the crying bush too. We're pulling the audio, see if it's worth it. I, I think we're calling Bonnie. <laughs> that's, yes, that's the beaten bush. It's too bad we have to play commercials because the show just continues right through the breaks. Uh, Jim's God. hysterical, man. Uh, He's got some great just stories from home stuff. Man. Oh, absolutely. That's just really funny, man. Jim Jeffries and his brother. Yeah. His brother who's doing the right thing in your mom's eyes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Helping the public and He's probably as corrupt as hell, my brother. You're hoping, right? I imagine he would he lives in a very big house with a nice car. I don't know how it all worked out for him. <laughs> He's a cop in Australia. He's a cop in Australia, He's a cop in Sydney, yeah. Yeah. And he and, and the thing is now I'm going back to do some gigs in Sydney in a couple of weeks and I'm gonna get like fifty cops coming. So I think, oh, yeah. I think I'm above the law in Australia. I think I can do whatever I want. That's pretty good. <laughs> it's a nice feeling. <laughs> what was the story you were just telling? All right, yeah, it's well, worth redoing for All right, yourself, I'll tell you, now you're not going to laugh, right? Well, <laughs> no, I will, because it's, it's just... It's I'll, I'll laugh again, right. and, and they'll laugh guys. out there. I'm, I'm, se I'm 17 years old, and I'm driving back through Crow's Nest in Sydney. Uh, another great Australian name, Crow's Nest. And uh, so we're driving back now, 17, obviously, uh, the drinking age in Australia is 18, and I think I'd had like one pint of lager. And uh, but at it's point oh five in Australia, but I'm not allowed to have anything on my breath because I'm a minor, right? Yeah, sure. So they pull me up to do a <laughs> breathalyzer, and uh, my brother's name's Danny Nugent, right? And they they hand over the breathalyzer, and I breathe, and I go, oh, do you know uh, Senior Sergeant uh, Danny Nugent by any chance? And the cop <laughs> just looks at me and goes, no. He wa that? Walks away to his car. Ten minutes, I sit there sweating, just sweating, doing nothing, right? Come back to the vehicle. Please step out of the vehicle, mate. And I'm like, is there a seat bit? Please step out of the vehicle. <laughs> so I step out. They smash me onto the bonnet of my car. They cuff me. They reach for their holsters. <laughs> right? I start crying like a small woman in an abusive relationship. <laughs> for 30 years. Right? And I'm going, oh, Jesus, please help me. Oh, no, no, no. And then I hear my brother laughing through the radio. Just, just like that, right? They uncuffed me. I start drying my eyes. Going, oh, good joke, guys. Good joke. Yeah, solid, solid, all, like that. All teary-eyed. <laughs> oh, they must have just pounded oh, you after it. that. I've, I've bumped into one of the guys since who still knows my brother, and they all still laugh and point. And yeah, I, I'm, I'm 32 year old man now, but then they go, oh, "Remember when you cried?" And I, oh, I still, oh. does that haunt you every day? <laughs> Oh, Every day, there's so been a lot bad. of other worse things that have happened to me. <laughs> That's good, man. Oh, so sad. That's real good. But, good you know, guy. whenever I'm out with my brother, I get free McDonald's. Yeah. Uh, you know, swings and roundabouts. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> On the arm, they call it, I guess. Right? <laughs> yeah. Hey, you take that with you. Yeah, 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 no. yeah. No, he knows all the little food places yeah. where he can flash his back. I remember when I was underage and uh, I had like a girlfriend. I was 17. I had a girlfriend who was like 16. And he'd take me out on the, on the piss, on the drink. And uh, he'd get her into nightclubs, like, with full knowledge that she was underage. And really? Yeah, 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 no problems with that. That's this doesn't go out to Australia. He can't get fired or anything. I'm sure, ha I'm sure he's happy that you're telling these stories. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> tell us about some on a show you can now hear all kickbacks. over the world. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> yeah, all but kinds I, of corruption. I, I, I was saying before that. What, what I like, uh, God, I he's, 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 a t he's a TV cop now. That, that's what I was getting into. Uh, let me jump in. You're, you're, I, what I like about you is your mom. Yeah. yeah, it sounds like you don't have the greatest relationship with your mom. Right, we have, and, we have a tension. And she's more proud of your brother, who's a, a TV do. cop, than you, who at this point is traveling the world, making people laugh. You got this HBO special that you're filming tomorrow night. We yeah, all know about but, now. But yeah, my, I got an HBO special, but my mom doesn't understand what that is. Yeah, and I go, "Curb your enthusiasm." Sex in the City, Sopranos, and she's like, eh, "They got <sighs> packed to the rafters." Yeah, but your brother uh, doesn't beat up her <laughs> husband. <laughs> and uh, but my but my brother, he's the cop that goes on the telly now and goes whenever there's like some 16 year old who wraps his car around a pole where he goes when will these kids learn that driving fast it, a car is not a toy it's a privilege <laughs> he does that and my mum will send me not even she doesn't know how to work a computer right. she'll send me video cassettes I don't even have a cassette player <laughs> VCR. Yeah, she just sends me cassettes going look at what your brother's up to and I'm like mum I've got my own sitcom and she goes what's a sitcom <laughs> <laughs> he's on TV for a minute talking yeah. about a car wreck oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And and, uh, and my brother gets in her ear and goes, uh, when's he going to get a real job, Mum? When's he going to get a real job? Oh. Just to stir her up. Does that? Oh, I think I earn more money than him. And uh, she goes, when's he going to get a real job? And then he says to my mum, he goes, there's always a spot on the force for him. Ah. <laughs> not if they do drug tests, there's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Some guy here on uh, Pal Talk has uh, got a great reference. Does he drive the, the last of the V8 interceptors, eh? V8, V8 Commodores, they drive, last yeah. Last of the they V8 get V8, interceptors. V8 Commodores, or they drive, uh, they drive Subaru WXs, because in Australia, the cars are all about is going fast as possible. Yeah, and you've got to get from point A to point B, there's not Britain, much in they, between. The, the cop cars are like little tiny ones that can go through traffic, and for some reason in America, you're still using the same cop cars off the Blues Brothers movies. <laughs> 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 what is it with those old cop cars? The old Crown Victorias. That were, I, were, I can were, outrun one them. of those. <laughs> That's so funny, yeah. <laughs> they are starting to upgrade some of the Highway Patrol ones, the the, uh, the Chargers uh, they're using. A couple of uh, departments have um, Camaros on order and stuff like that. Uh, but for the most part, yeah, still the old just Crown Victorias. Crappy old cars. Uh, they're just meant to throw perps in the back seat and, you know. Yeah. Because you got to buy some money Rouse some here. drug dealers and stuff like that. You know. I've seen some of the international cars though. It's amazing uh, what those cops are driving. Oh, the Australian ones, they they like not just the normal car, they soup them up as well. Yeah, like, yeah. They, yeah, they, oh, they go real quick. It's like the Road Warrior with yeah, this yeah. Uh, <laughs> turbo. <laughs> I never understood that about the roadway, right? So Mad Max is an era where petrol's run out. Yeah. Why aren't they driving around hybrids and stuff? <laughs> yeah. Why are they, why are they rocking around in, in Holden Monaros, which is like a V8 engine with <laughs> nitro in it? And, like, that's not a sensible choice. <laughs> Let's get one of these smart cars from Europe that look like you're sitting in an egg. <laughs> Well, you got Humongous and his boys chasing you, so you got to balance economy with get the f out of their yeah, speed. But he you know? wouldn't be on a motorcycle; he'd be on a moped. He'd yeah. be on one of those little tiny, yeah. yeah, like Jamie Oliver. Yeah, Lord of the Wasteland. Humongous is chasing you in a Hugo, <laughs> like some old. <laughs> Have you ever seen the original Mad Max, the American version, where they didn't think that the Americans would understand the Australian? Yeah, yeah. So they dubbed in. They dubbed American voices yeah. over the top. Like, hey, what what happened? Well, I seem to have had some problem with these gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. It's like, what the, well, you wouldn't understand that? This though? car is done up, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> 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 that is ridiculous. Because yeah. so they, they, you call it the Road Warrior, we just called that Mad Max 2. But Mad because Max Mad Max didn't do very well in the cinema, you, th you they liked the second film so much that they called it a different yeah. film because it stood on its own. But it is, that's enough of the film history. Well, the second one was, I think it had a little more money behind it. It's a it great a movie. Bigger. You yeah. watch Road Warrior again. When he, when he goes, you need a truck driver? Yeah. I'll drive your truck. Drive that, that yeah. tanker. I'll drive that tanker. Two days ago, I saw rigged out of all that tanker. And it turns out the petrol was actually in the bus and the tanker yeah. was full of sand. You ruined it. It was, oh, yeah, if, if you haven't <laughs> seen it. You haven't seen it, it yeah, in 20 yeah. years. Yeah, and in the hours, <laughs> they're all ghosts. Uh, Kevin Spacey is Kaiser <laughs> Souza. And. <laughs> if you like, watch these films, will you? If you, seen, if you haven't seen the wrestler at the end, it turns out he's gay. Yes, of course. I'm just ruining films that I've I, seen. Uh, I, uh, I I love in the Road Warrior when uh, that uh, it, it, that ass gets his fingers chopped off by the boomerang that the kid throws. Oh, the little and feral else, kid. And, and the little uh, the uh, the other guys, humongous cronies, like pound on the roof of the car they're driving, and they're like, 
<laughs> like it's the funniest thing they ever saw was one of their guys getting his fingers cut off. <laughs> on, on beyond on beyond Thunderdome, when they went to like that that uh, no, actually, no, no, on Road Warrior, when they went to that town, there's all the feral kids standing around, like the kid with the boomerang, and they're in that little blockade area, right? Yeah. There was there was a girl in that that would have been about 14 at the time, and she had become the manager and owner of the Sydney Comedy Store, the first comedy really? club I ever tried to get into, right? I'd done about two wow. open spots. I got my first paid spot. I just watched Road Warrior the day before. That was three, though. That was yeah. the no, Thunderdome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watched Road Warrior, uh, the, the second one. No, it was, she was one of the kids in the second one, not the third one. I know what you're talking about, but she was the kids in that, that sort of village, right? Mm. Anyway, so I'm, I watched the second film... And then I meet this lady who's in charge, as far as I'm concerned, for my entire career, the only comedy club in Sydney. And I went, oh, I just watched Road Warrior. You were in that. And she's one of these women who's had a lot of plastic surgery. And I'm going, so that movie was about 1982, and you were about 14. <laughs> so that would make you, just thinking I was being inquisitive, didn't work at the Buddy Comedy Store for two years. Oh, wow. damn. She held a grudge. Yeah, well, that's she, screwing up. And, and she doesn't own the comedy club anymore, and she doesn't work there. So if you're listening, Jane Sweet Apple. Sweet Apple. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, yeah. Sweet Apple. you know Jane Sweet Apple? I'm from New York when she used to come here. She was kind of hot, though, when <laughs> she came into New York. Was she blonde? Yes. Did she, she see the one with the little ponytail in the... I don't know. I haven't I, seen that girl. I don't remember. But, uh, she was mean, man. Remember when uh, <laughs> Rat Fink's motorcycles went into the tar? <laughs> what? That mo the Rat Fink's, their motorcycle gang. <laughs> no, I don't. You don't know that movie? No. I thought you would have got it. No, sorry, Rich. Frankie Avalon. <laughs> Frankie Avalon. <laughs> hey, why don't we... Uh, Jersey Boys. <laughs> why don't we get to this story? It's a good one today. So who's the woman crashing the funeral and hitting the body with a piece of metal? That's what everyone inside wanted to know. Her name is Helen <laughs> Right there is just... <laughs> that's all you need. That's what everybody wanted to know. That's a good setup right there. I, I, I want to know. This is a crazy know. story. Was it an open casket? I believe so. Everyone inside wanted to know. Her name, Nicole Leonard, a 25-year-old North Carolina woman accused of showing up at the funeral for William Leppard yesterday. But deputies say she didn't come to pay her respects once inside this church. And then she walked up to the pulpit and she stood around and she said, I've always waited for this opportunity. And then she looked out and started saying, I love you, I love you, and then she started kind of crying. After dancing in front of the service, witnesses say she opened the casket, grabbed the man's head, and started striking him with a metal car antenna. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantastic. I, I, I tell you what, there's oh, been moments in my sorry. life it where, wasn't even an where I've been like cheating on girlfriends and stuff like that and had a couple of girls on the go and stuff, and I thought to myself, if I die now, <laughs> this funeral is going to be awful. <laughs> There's so going, going to be show people up. showing up and punching and crying and disappointment. Who are ever. you and why are you here? <laughs> well, <laughs> we were in love. And... Oh, my God. Can you imagine? I've often thought that. Wow, man. Something. Well, obviously that, something was going on. That's what happened, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's what happened. She probably scorned. Uh, he probably scorned this woman or she something. She said, I love you, I love you, then beat his head with a pole. Yeah, let's find out. If Make up. Pick the head an up here. <laughs> and just started beating him. That's After <laughs> dancing in front of the service, witnesses say she opened the casket, grabbed the man's head, and started striking him with a metal car antenna. It was, it was so, something unusual. <laughs> Oh, but she wasn't done. Deputies say oh. she grabbed the flowers and threw them at family members sitting in the pews. Naturally, it shocked those inside. Anybody have any idea who this was? No. She didn't know anybody here and nobody knew her. Yep, no one knows why she was there. <laughs> Leonard was escorted out by funeral workers and deputies arrested her a short time later. Mm. She admitted to doing what she's accused of and told deputies she did it because she felt it was the right thing to do at the time. People who were there. I couldn't believe something like that happened in the church. And that woman has been charged with disorderly conduct and disrupting a funeral. Maybe uh, she was walking in front of the casket. I no, mean, she mean, was dancing in front of the <laughs> casket. I didn't know there was a charge of disrupting a funeral. Do they have to, is that like a, a thing that's used often? That's a good question. If you beat up the dead person, yeah. Uh, remember when? But she, I think what's funny is the is not the story. It's the guy who reads the story. He goes, "So we hit her in the head." That yeah. guy, he just seems so happy to be here telling this story. It should be more somber. Amazing. Wow. Remember it should be more we somber. Doing... Yeah, he's kind of laughing about the whole thing, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> 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 a car antenna. <laughs> right. And Lift on the lighter side of news. <laughs>
I could have went to jail. When we did a Starbucks tour, we wanted to go into funerals and do stand up there. <laughs> <laughs> I might still do that one. Uh, yeah, right. no. Is that her? That's the crazy uh, antenna bitch. So you think? Uh, yeah. she... I, I, I think this guy uh, was uh, banging her. You think? Uh, kind of scorned her a little bit. No. And then she comes in and, and says, hey, well, you're dead. Here you go. That's what you used to do. You probably beat her ass with a car antenna. What are you thinking? She had to know. It was her, it, she had to know the guy. He was her hairdresser. <laughs> <laughs> All right. A little visual joke, but very good, Rich. She, she, she looks, yeah, she does have a very Eastern hairdresser. European in the face. Maybe, she does. Maybe yeah. you didn't pay the full postage. Little uh, Russian. Bro, yeah, why do you not pay for me? You die before I get green, huh? <laughs> She's only got a little walleye thing going there, too. She's just slightly... She has a, her eye. She's yeah. got that lazy eye. She got that, uh, yeah. Almost looks like a glass eye, the right one. Maybe that's the one that he hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah with the car Maybe she got a bit of whiplash with the antenna. <laughs> it was self-inflicted. She had her reasons. <laughs> Maybe that's he worked at, like, says. cartoons and was doing a radio or something. <laughs> oh, I got greedy. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Speaking of cars. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll take another break here. What do we got going on? Rich is, uh, wh where are you playing, Rich? I'm at the uh, Arlington Draft House, Arlington Theater Draft House at March 20th and 21 in Arlington, uh, yeah. Virginia. And uh, and there's many witnesses here that saw me last Friday night just completely destroy. Witnesses? He's talking about witnesses. <laughs> yeah. he, he makes it sound like witnesses saw me do well. Yeah, so yeah, Because I don't want people to on ever... The record. To ever uh, across the radio and my stand up ever. Rich, pe Never people feel. are meant to assume that you're going to be good. You shouldn't have to tell them. You don't know this yeah, audience. Listen past. to me. That's Listen, it's a legally binding thing. Yeah, yeah. You don't I got to tell you, uh, we did the funniest listener contest last Friday and uh, you destroyed. And, and as many times we tell these people that you're yeah. unbelievable on a comedy stage, they, they're, they're still surprised when they see you destroy in a comedy club. Bar Come real quick, on. Bonnie is relative. Bonnie is was so mean as a uh, judge. Then, it, like I mean, pe the comics were scared to come out because Bonnie was going to smash them after it. Bonnie, real quick, was doing a pilot for the Gong Show. They were doing it, and a six or seven year old girl came out and sang. Yeah, right. And all the judges gave her a ten. And Bonnie gave her a one, said, I just, I, I didn't like it. And the little girl started crying. <laughs> ah, good. <laughs> Harsh but fair. See, and, that, and they don't want, ah, whatever. The gong show good. should have been a good show if they just let everybody do their thing. But they got to keep it safe and <clears throat> happy and all that. Yeah. You know what uh, uh, bothered me about the gong show in any format, the new one, the old one, whatever, is the, the giving somebody ten points. Uh, out of ten, unless they are the last person up, you set your maximum yeah, at right. nine. Set your max at nine, and even you could even set it at eight. I remember and then a pole dancing competition in this room that you rigged by giving all the other contestants a one. And then the girl in the nurse's outfit, you gave a ten because it didn't matter. Therein making our scores not even matter. Very good, right? It was a good system. See, I'm, I, I'm I, I totally ran the, the voting on that one. But the there, way was, you're there was two girls that were uglier but could really pole dance, and then the one I girl understand. that was ringing. I did oh. take that to its extreme. Well, I thought what, I'm saying is, what I'm saying is if every, if every judge shot. if every judge played like this, you, you see somebody, the first person up is fantastic. No one's going to do better. You give them an eight. Right. You give them an eight. Everyone gives them an eight. Then they got that score. Then the next person comes up, they suck, they suck, you give them a seven, a six, five, whatever, whatever, whatever. The last person comes up, oh my God, so much better than you even thought the other one was that got an eight. Give them a nine. Mm. The only person that should get a ten if they're outstanding is the last person. Because once you give out that ten, then if someone's better, they can only tie the person that was but, that you but, already gave the ten to. Different levels they of throw perfect. away tens. I hear like what you're saying. Friggin' I Whatever's. But I want to get back to the funniest <laughs> listener contest because, you know, this is going somewhere. I gave yeah. Rich his compliment. He's great on a comedy stage, but he's still a dope. What? Uh oh. Listen uh -oh. to this. It was time <laughs> to announce that. the winner after doing this for two and a half hours. Yeah. Yeah. And here's the big moment. Rich oh, Voss right. announcing the winner of the funniest uh, listener contest. What do you call Tommy and Owen. Know what you two have in common? <laughs> you didn't... <laughs> <laughs> 
and win. Uh, a big hand for our winner tonight. Owen Bonus. Oh. You guys all did great. Uh, go to their websites. Thank you for coming out. Rich. Listen to Opie. Rich, Rich. Jonathan. It was Jonathan. Jonathan. You said the wrong name. Oh, oh. oh my God. You're the worst. Who did I? You <laughs> No, I said Jonathan won. No. Didn't I? No. Oh. <laughs> I said Jonathan won. Uh, he got there. So this guy thinks he won. He walked on stage. He's yeah. all excited. The family's excited for this guy. He was a nobody. This is his big break. And this idiot just messed oh up the whole thing. Oh, my God. Did you screw I, the pooch on that I, one? I, I, And then he's arguing with us that he, no, he did it right. Well, guess what? Guess who won? Did you, wait, did you really f*** that up? <laughs> <laughs> did you really do... The worst thing you could have done at this moment. Is that Kelly? He's taken, ladies. Gross. He's taken. <laughs> Wait, what did I say? I said Owen. Oh, uh, okay, hold on. We have the top three here. Uh, you can't do it. Hold on, Tommy and Owen. Know what you two have in common? Jonathan won. <laughs> did I? Yeah, that up? yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought that was a nice little recovery because you just dopeed it up a bit more. Yeah, <laughs> now, now the family that was excited and the kid. Yeah, they yeah. Were, take it away from them. They were already did take away the moment. They were already spending uh, that TV that they won. <laughs> <laughs> you had was almost a perfect night and then you had to. <laughs> of course you had to ruin it for yourself. Uh, of course. It was, a, it was a lot of fun, though. We had a great, and the fan, everybody was great. It worked out way better than I thought it would. Anthony, as a gambling guy, right? Uh, yeah. What are the odds, like, say out of 8,760 hours a year, what are the odds that somebody would get conveniently sick for four hours out of that? Oh, wow. It's probably very slim. Oh, okay. Yeah, slim to probably none. No, oh, I know. Impossible. I think, I yeah, think, yeah. think it's impossible. I had the flu. <laughs> I came into work that day. You want to listen to the tape? <laughs> and I was hysterical. I was uh, delirious with did you, fever. Did you throw up? I took my temperature. I don't throw up when I have, like, the flu. I throw up uh, if I drink too much and I have a hangover the next day. I don't think, knock wood. Yeah, who throws up? I don't think I've ever gotten sick. I don't think I've ever thrown up from being ill. I've thrown up from drinking. I don't think I've ever thrown up from actually, li like, having a flu or a virus or something like that. No. You know, you, you, you get an upset stomach, you, you know, sit down on the bowl and stuff, but huh. I've never thrown up from being ill. When you have one of those uh, nights where you throw up because you drank too much, how long does it take for you to start drinking again? No, I I get... Because, I mean, like me, I mean, that'll, that'll I'm out for a while, like weeks. It, no, I keep drinking after the vomit. Really? Yeah, I, yeah. Uh, I've got a pretty good constitution. Me. I've only thrown up like two times in the last decade. Here's the here's the, the problem I have. It, it, it's just drinking. No, is uh, uh well, uh, yes, it is. When I but when you I want drink, us all to yell no and <laughs> no, no, I was hoping someone would. When when I'm hungover in the morning, if I have a really bad hangover, it is over 24 hours long, mm. and I won't get sick like overnight. I'll wake up, I'll be hungover nine in the morning, ten, eleven, at like three in the afternoon. The next day, I'll be like, oh my god, I'm gonna get sick, and I'll I'll get sick at three the next afternoon. Oh. It makes no sense. We used to just drink Southern Comfort. Ooh, that's and just crazy. Crawl to my front, puking and crawling and puking. I, I always, I don't, puke, I'm I don't over. puke while I'm drinking. It's no, not that. It's the next day. It wakes me up, so I, I will not open my eyes, and I will just be in a little tiny cocoon under my duvet <laughs> like that. But horny as hell, like like can't move, but yeah. like more sexually aroused than ever. Oh. If I'm hungover. That's when I'm at my peak of wanting to do really? something. Really? Yep. I can't, it I can't, does take your mind off I of the... I uh, can't physically do anything. The headache. But that's all I want to do. Yeah. <laughs> more than eight, more than anything. Let's go to Jeff in Boston. Jeff. Yo. Hey, hey guys. Hey, what's up, Jeff? I just want, I, I just want to say I watched uh, the show that uh, Jimmy hosts on uh, HBO, and I have never laughed harder at uh, Jim Jeffries. I've never seen him before, and he was fantastic. Right. That's, that means that's as hard as you can laugh at me. You can't laugh any harder. No, it's a 10. Score that. It's a 10 on the laugh scale. Thank you very well, much. That's very nice. Well, here. that uh, appearance on Jim Norton's show has um, uh, come to what's happening tomorrow night. Jim Jeffries is filming an hour. You're getting an hour? Okay, an hour special. An yeah. hour special on HBO, and we're filming this, or he's filming this tomorrow night there, uh, Jeff. Sounds good. 
Did you get <laughs> for more? I'm good. No, I don't know what the hell to tell you. I was surprised they even got through. You no, guys are uh, yeah, we were using, even more popular. Honestly, we were using you for a little setup because there might be a few tickets available for the taping oh. of Jim Jeffries' HBO special tomorrow night. Where is it at? It's at uh, NYU, right? The, yeah, the Skirball Center. I'm giving away 1,400 tickets. Just giving them away. <laughs> Damn. Just right. <laughs> Skirball Center, New York, uh, there's a 730 and a 10 p.m. And the email is jimjefferies at broadwayvideo.com. For free tickets. For free tickets. For the HBO taping. Opie and Anthony, Jim Jefferies, Rich Voss. Pretty good one for a Friday. Jefferies was just saying that uh, in Australia, the packs of cigarettes were getting bigger and bigger on you. Bigger and bigger when I was a kid. They were 10 packs and 20 packs. And now... Brand called, I think Holiday brought them in. Yeah, packs of fifty. Packs of fifty. <laughs> but I haven't been in the country for a few years. They might have gotten bigger. Yeah. <laughs> with, 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 like, can Arium. someone Google the biggest? Types of, I don't know, but they, they definitely packs of fifties. And like, you know, there's like, I don't know if they did in this country, but like, when you meet those like James Dean or characters who think they're James Dean esque, and you, you roll them up in your shirt. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I last time I was in Australia, I saw some guy trying to roll a fifty pack. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like it a actually, transformer. It actually looked like the tumor <laughs> that he was going to get. In the <laughs> but yeah, yeah, real big packs. So this is going to keep going because people people say, you never, people always go, how much do you smoke? They never go 10, 20, 15 yeah. cigarettes. They always go pack a day. Right. And the marketing people, they figure that out and then they just went, just keep on adding five every couple of years. <laughs> and they say one pack a day. Just one pack a day. It's 50 cigarettes. Yeah, 50 cigarettes. <laughs> oh. that's, what, that's what my auntie's on. My auntie, I don't know how that woman's still living. She's on fifty a day, and she has a she has a vodka bottle down the side of a bed. Mind you, she's gone mental. <laughs> and uh, my uncle Bruce, he, she kept on putting my uncle Bruce down and keeping the old bloke down, right? And uh, he left her, and it turned out that she'd been pumping him full of depressants and stuff like that, and he lost his brain. A week away from her, he started talking normally and stuff like that. Wow! Oh, Just... she's evil, my auntie Susan. If you if you here we go, holiday kings, pack it. Is that that's 50 or 58? 50. That's just a pack 50. of 50. That's Holiday 50 Kings Gold. Cigarettes. 50 cigarettes. How do you carry it? That's probably actual size. It's it's it's, <laughs> it's, it's a big. Giant. It's a big. You could If you threw it at someone, you can knock them out. There we go. That's <laughs> actual girl. size a there. A girl. That's actual size there. And it, yeah. goes, it goes back a long distance. Wow. Yeah, I would guess, yeah, it would have to be very wide. Well, I think man. they all do. I think uh, Winfield do them as well. I don't think it's just Holiday. I think Holiday were the ones who brought them in. But then uh, Winfield was, was the other... You know, uh, yeah, that's, that's a great that's, idea. That's Australia. Everything's Amazing. bigger over there. Everything's bigger yeah. over there. You guys don't know. Yeah, yeah. well, no, it's, it's, it's got to be. It's a big place. <laughs> it's a big, giant island. <laughs> <laughs> nothing nothing in it. Yeah, you guys I, haven't I, filled that thing up yet. We overtook you like, uh, two weeks ago, fattest people in the world. I don't know no how way. we did it. It was in the news. How we did you guys do that? We, I don't know. We've got all the sport and the heat and the <clears> surfing <throat> in the world. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I see fatter people walking around America oh, than I yeah. do in Australia. I, I don't see as many fat people. I, I think in Australia they stay indoors for the air conditioning. We got some I don't real, think they venture uh, out. You guys are proud fat. You'll, your whole fat families yeah. will venture out. Don't, yeah. And they'll wear, they'll wear clothing where their gut sticks out. A fat person will get their, their belly button pierced just to draw attention to their fatness. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah we're proud a, of I saw, I saw one at, at Raging Waters in LA and she had tattoos running up her body. Fat people shouldn't have tattoos. No. 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 Fat people shouldn't be allowed out of the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Accentuate any bit of your fattiness. There was one woman uh, in the in, in the raging in the lazy river bit, and she was oh, so yeah. the fattest human I've ever seen. But she got into that lazy river because it has a current that pushes you along, and it's only five foot deep. And with the push of the current, she actually had her first walk in over a decade. <laughs> and oh she was wow! Just yeah, trudging buoyant, through with every bit of misery that you oh, could. The kids disgusting. holding on to her to float by. Speaking oh, of so little I, kids I, being pulled into a <laughs> gravitational <laughs> pull. This is something I got to just bring up uh, uh, because uh, it involves the fat thing. Yeah. Um, Opie snapped a picture of me when I had the flu on that Friday, and I was sick, and I was blowing my nose. So I was like that, and he put it on the Twitter. I said, yeah, he goes, yeah, you mind if, and you said, you mind if I take a picture of you? I well, said, I wanted like, to get a picture nose. of you in your misery. I'm Opie Radio on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. Let's promote it a little bit here, because, uh, you know, I do a lot of fun stuff after the show. So I, I'm blowing my nose, Yeah. and I take a deep breath, and I go, and, and you caught me just like that. It was a perfect and, shot. And it's the winter. I haven't been working out as much. It's uh, it's whatever. I do have more of a gut on me than I did Seasonal probably white. during the uh, summer and everything. Whatever, regardless. Wait, this is radio. How tall are you? 
Um, uh, five ten. Five ten. How much you weigh? For real. One sixty three. Just so Get they have a. Really? That's 163? it. Yeah. Just so they have a reference oh, point. Two hundred. So, so you have a little little pouch on your. Yeah, that's what it is. One hundred sixty three pound it's, frame. It's, and it's it's right here. Oh, I shag it women I who weigh one hundred sixty. Well, let me tell you something. What happened? These. Douches! Hey, they're my followers. Your, your your Twitter <laughs> followers are a bunch of c words. <laughs> they're my because, followers because the, somebody said somebody actually wrote like, "Oh my God, look at his gut! It's hang and and like I'm sitting like this. I want to say I'm and sorry. sitting on the chair. No, no, and and my shirt. My I had a light shirt on and it was kind of tucked on. It was the ideal circumstance for a really bad picture. Sure, and I was sick, so I don't care. But this Seem like load of crap that is called Lady Trucker. She calls our show. She's on uh, uh, your Twitter site a lot. Uh, she calls Ron and Fez a lot. Look at this lump of of <laughs> crap. I want to say the S word so bad. This is a bag of leather, a leather sack. Oh my God! Full of dog feces. <laughs> yeah. You are about. I gotta say. You are rank amongst the top three most disgusting people I've seen in my life, and I can't remember the first two. Uh -huh. I can't remember the other two. So right now in my head, Lady Trucker is the most disgusting person, not even female, person I've ever seen. And she was getting on me about my paunch, my, my paunch, because... Uh, uh, I was I was sick and 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 uh, took a picture blowing my nose, and she was getting on me about my paunch. I wanted to take this fatty and pull her breasts over her face because you could like a shirt like a hockey fight I don't know where they take their jerseys and pull them over her face. I want to do that with her breasts and then just beat her senseless. She is disgusting and she's criticizing the way I look. Go screw. Go eat something. Keep that body going before you drive. Drive your truck into a tar pit where it belongs so they can scrape you up and display your bones in a million years, you dinosaur. You effing brontosaurus. I hope you jackknife and and, and uh, 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 your, your own truck runs over your cab. I'm sure you damage your truck. She should have ma that Mac uh, uh, dog. On her chest. She probably does. You look like a truck. She has her weight under her belt. Yeah, what is that number on there? Was that from the 4-H club? <laughs> Did some little kid raise you? If only the people she was in a, in a fun walk or something. That's her number. Walk yeah. what? She, to she, she was wear in, a she in a walk. That's her number, not her weight. She was in a little fun walk. Probably fun for, walk? Probably for a good cause. She was Anthony. walking for the cure. Yeah, what's oh, wrong with please you? Please stop it. Just lay her sideways and roll her. Do a roll for the cure. No, no, have you ever you slovenly her? pig. You're a slovenly pig. She got to you. She's like, what? I'll I'm be like, worried about believe. her hanging this. <laughs> I can't effing believe that she get to me. She's not that much bit. bigger than you. I mean, your stomach hurts. That's <laughs> right, Rich. Yeah, we're just about the same. Look at those cans on her. Uh, They're those under are... her armpits. Her belly fat is pushing her breasts under her armpits. You flat so you'd be a flat so if there wasn't so much fat under what probably were a cups. And what's the bits under her arms called? Huh? Bingo wings. Bingo wings. <laughs> oh, she's got more than that. You friggin' disgusting mammoth. You're a mammoth. You should have tusks. <laughs> You're disgusting. You disgust me when I look at your picture. Now imagine there's a picture of Gene Simmons right next to her. How do you feel? You want to throw Mine? peanuts out? Yeah, who do you hate more, Lady Trucker or Gene Simmons? Oh, I want to beat Lady Trucker with Gene Simmons, <laughs> with his wig. I want to suffocate her with Gene Simmons' are you, wig. Are you over the Gene Simmons thing? Yeah, yet? I don't care about Gene Simmons. It's, so, it's the audacity for her to say anything. For her to say anything, exactly. It's almost insane. She if just want to no, right, right, enjoy right. the fun. If some Abercrombie right. and Fitch fruit wants we to come up with his abs. We don't know how used to be. Maybe, oh, maybe this. Maybe stop she's it. lost a little That's a lifetime of fat right there. Stop giving the woman a hard time. Never going away. Hard she, never going away. she just looks Come like on. a lovely Australian. Lady. Never going away. Oh, when I'm large, Marge, you big fat trucking bitch. Oh God, do I want to see her in, 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 into an abutment? What's just it? drive right into it. That's it. It's wafer thin. All right. Oh, just one though. 
And she explodes. It's a whiffer thin. Oh, my God. Get me a bucket. You uh, are disgusting. Would you would you would you put a, a, a shed on the back of your truck for a sleeper? Uh, you mess. You're a mess. Oh. She's a waterbed. A walking waterbed. Uh let me go to Bulldog in Jersey. Bulldog. Yes. Hey, I just want to ask Ed why he's like so perfect that he can always call people fat and ugly and everything when yeah. he's like one of the ugliest dudes I've ever seen in my life. Well, you know something? You're a guy, so why would I give a crap what you think about what I look like, my friend? Riddle me that, Batman. Go ahead, Bulldog. Let me know. Bulldog, Bulldog, I'm serious. I'll give you a chance to talk. Hey, Bulldog, I'll let you talk, you Jersey piece of scum. Hold on, hold on, Jersey trash. Hold on, Bulldog. Wait a minute, Bulldog. What a tough day for a little pussy like you, Bulldog. What, what fruit? What faggot? What faggot? What, what? I would punch a hole in your sorry ass. Shut up! Come on down! Come down! Now! Now! You know what? Be here! Nine o'clock outside! Be here, you fag! Be here! You never show up! None of yous! You never show up! You talk a lot of smack for Yeah, you talk a lot of smack, bulldog. Oh, go screw. I had sex with your mother. I had sex with your whore mother. Your mother's a slut. And I banged her. I banged her in the most taboo way. Your father's a homosexual and didn't satisfy her. So I took mine and shoved it. I shoved it. Your mother's a slut. Shut up. Shut up. Your mother's a whore. Your mother is a whore. Get down here. Get down here. Get down here. Come down. Fairy. Fairy Mary. Why don't you shove it? Shove it like your mother did. Shove it like your mother takes it. Your mother, that whore. That whore. Think of your mom. Think of your mom's sweet face. Think of your mom's sweet face. You know what she does? She's an effing whore. She takes it in a dirty spot. Her dirty spot's a big gaping one. Shut up. Shut up, bulldog. Tough guy. Come on, tough guy. You know what's going to happen to you? You're what? Faggot. What, Jack Somebody's off? I'm going to shoot you with your own gun because that's what happens to punks. Who yeah, that's what gun. happens. Come on down, hey. Bulldog. More hey. threats. Hey. More you threats. I need hey. threats. Let me tell you Believe me. Document you this, Keith. I know, I know once somebody gets the advantage on you, you'll hang up. But let me tell you this. I ain't going to hang up, fag. Marine. I'm not hanging up. I was a Marine for 20 years, okay? Yeah? What'd you get this charge for? Homosexuality <laughs> in the <laughs> barracks? Don't ask, don't tell? What, you have to go home because your mother was getting banged? Your whore mother? Your mother's a slut. Your mother, your sister, they're all whores. Are you married? Your wife's banging someone right now. Right now. Because you can't satisfy anybody. You're a piece of crap. Bulldog. Good. Sneak. No one sneaks up on me. Oh, Marine. Shut up. Just do it. Don't talk about it. You lying sack of crap. Is Just you do, do it. You swallow and don't tell no one. Is that what you do? I, 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 I dare you. I dare you to do it. Come on, bring it on, yes. you pussy. Hey, bring it. Just so you know. Hey, just so you know. Yeah, just so I know. What? 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 I love you guys, man. You know? All right, I love you. All right. All right. We got off on the wrong foot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I just wanted to get you wound up, bro. All right. You have a good day. Thank you. <laughs> Jeez. That was uh Well, let's go to Brian in Kentucky. Uh Brian. Good evening. Hey Brian. Hey, uh hey Faye, do you wish you would have gotten a tummy tuck instead of hair plugs? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Starts with the head, go down. Uh, wow. Ooh, that was Bastard. uncomfortable. All right. Wow. What? Huh? That wasn't no. uncomfortable. I've Wasn't never seen you that angry. I I liked it. I like the things you're going to do to his mother. Oh yeah. I couldn't hear anything that he was saying back. Was he getting any good lines in? Yeah, he, I, he had a few good ones. I didn't hear. I, I, I think there was. If I I'll had any the replay, people, I would have been. You know, that was a good one. All because of my. Uh, yeah. All because of my Twitter account, huh? Yeah. See what happened? Op Radio on Twitter. See? This, is a, this is great advertising for my. Uh, What's Twitter? Well, Rich, uh, Rich does the Twitter too. I tried, I'm, I, but your I updates you. suck. Rich, Rich goes, I, no one talks to me. I, I do these updates, and no one responds. 
Well, I put Because you, you write stuff like, I, I'm here in Miami I, at said, the hotel. I, I got said, a gig tonight. Who cares? Said, what are you doing now? I was uh, taking my kid to Hershey Park. Well, uh, what are they supposed to comment Hershey about that? Park? Is that, in a, is that in a, a place? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's like roller coasters and stuff. Oh, it's like yeah. Bulldog's Her mother. Her Hershey Park. A, Hershey's <laughs> on a sponsor, are they? <laughs> Hershey, who knows? No, that's got to be the worst chocolate in the yeah. world. The Americans, it's just, it's like... Are they a sponsor? Are they, are they really? Jesus Christ, help us. I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> All right, can a Hershey's eat Hershey's? Hershey's is good. You know, <laughs> you know what? I, uh, I, I, I like the Hershey's. Yeah, me too. I'm not I, even saying that to save I, the account. I, 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 I enjoy it. The dog, park was extremely up. fun. Yeah. You see how everything is has a Her Hershey theme Hershey, in Hershey, Hershey, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Hershey, Hershey, enough. Park. We walked it in. And like a we did a the sidewalk is uh, is chocolate brown. Is enough it? already. Yes. The land of chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> you saw it, right? We turned around quickly. And the kisses are everywhere. Yeah, Instead yeah. of lampposts, they're, they're oh, the Hershey kisses. They're in the yeah. shape. Sounds of, adorable. Uh, I haven't gone there since I was like a kid, but everything Sweet. had the chocolate theme in that. No, we just want you to wait a minute. But on Twitter, I don't know what you're supposed to. It says, "What are you doing now? What are you supposed to? What are you writing?" You, you like, don't say anything until your life gets interesting. Right. Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you know, if you're yeah. taking your kid to the Hershey's Park, no one cares. Yeah, no, other kids, other parents are taking their kids. You're there. taking someone gonna, else's kid. You're, you're, you're stealing that. a child from Hershey's Park. <laughs> There's some news. <laughs> you're I, 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 I've, I've just. Beaten my like girlfriend in a Lamborghini. That's a Twitter. That's a Twitter statement. You put yes, that on. yes. Then you put it on there. You put that on there. Oh, wait. They're changing the, the name of the show to the Opie and Chubby Show. I, you know. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be mistaken for Iraq. Just a little. <laughs> the just a little. What is it called? Paunch. A little paunch. A little paunch. I can't get over how fat she was, and she's talking about it. Oh, Lady Trucker, I that bitch. I thought she looked quite nice. That bitch. Well, I mean, you're, you're not a 10, so you would think that. But she, and, and you are, Ross? I'm, I'm a nine and a half. You're better are you saying you're better looking than me? It, it, yeah. All right. That, yeah. I, I, okay, there's people at home now. You could Google me and Rich <laughs> Voss, and I would like a survey on who's better looking right now. Well, of course, listen, you can't go by these fans. <laughs> don't, don't go, like, I know he's got that mongy voice, and I have this charming little accent. Let's not Insane. go on this. Let's not yes. go on this. Let's go purely on Just photographs. Pure photo. That's what I, do you have a resume? Do you have like a portfolio of girls you bang? Do you keep pictures? <laughs> I, I, do you have a. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Danny just old. brought up an old picture of Austin with his jerry curled hair and his is that really horrid you? teeth. Oh, yeah, that's, that's how my hair used to grow. And that's how his teeth and used to look. His teeth used to... Oh, yeah. my God. No, they're somewhat dark and you're more... Mar went... You're Maradona. No, no, no. What's that? You're Maradona. You look ah. like Maradona, the footballer. The soccer player. Uh, There's yeah. other sports in the world. They're very I good. No, no, we, had, we have no clue about soccer. You've never heard about Maradona. You don't know who Maradona is. It sounds like a porn star. The greatest soccer player ever. Maradona. You don't know who he is? Oh. The greatest soccer player. Pele, Pele, Maradona, George, like Maradona. They, they've got a musical. We know Pele. I mean, oh, Maradona. Yeah, I Maradona. know. Maradona. I think, you, I think your accent's he, getting away. He was so good that Maradona, after he retired, he came back a bit. He was still doing coke by the mountain load. He was, <laughs> he was fatter than Anthony is now, like really fat. <laughs> you son of a bitch. And he was still going out the Spin pitch against regular players, doing okay. Speaking of which, good news, <laughs> fatanthony.com has been registered. So Thank God. You thought FatErock.com was taking over. Thank have the we, Lord. Have we got anyone emailing that I'm hotter than Voss? i got to be hotter than I Voss. I just turned off everything. Oh. It's, it's oh. ugly out there right now. i got to Very be. ugly. Yeah. We have very shallow. Ladies are like you. We know, have very shallow like, egos on this show. we we, we got to shut down everything now. <laughs> Original <laughs> team. <Everything>. Shallow <laughs> ego. I know. Our egos are very fragile. I think you got I one vote say. yes from Bonnie. Fragile ego. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Hey, don't read the instant feedback. Oh, my God. Turn off the phones. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm deleting my Twitter account now. I can't handle <laughs> yeah. this. I don't I, even. This Facebook is too hard. People throw beads at you. They're doing this. No. <laughs> I, I, what the hell is all this stuff? I on don't Facebook? poke anymore. Or anything. Poking's no, poking. over for me. None I don't of that care. stuff. I don't. No. What the hell's poking on Facebook? That's that was, like, that yeah, was the original poked. thing. You poke, oh, really? and then they started throwing sheep at you and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. What no, is all no. this crap? It's too much. It's on It's called there. social networking. It, I, it's taken over the world. How about you join? Yeah, the really. Somebody. Yeah, it is. Somebody gave me fun. It is. Love beads or funny beads. And someone like you, you're a comedian. This is a good way to. Well, no, you know, I grow, do. grow your uh, your fan base. Here's That's why I'm doing it. I never gave love beads in real life. Why would I do it I online? I understand that. That's why I picked Twitter because it's a lot simpler than isn't, the whole Facebook thing. Isn't Twitter thing. part of Facebook? 
Uh, yeah. You can connect them and stuff, but Twitter is a, is a basic Facebook, really. I, I, yeah, I, I it's, it's like more it. basic. It's a, it's a lot easier to deal with. Let's say there's a woman in the world. Couple that picks, I'm couple wooing. updates, you're good. There's yeah. a girl See what that people I really say like. and move on. Uh -huh. There's a girl I like, so I'm wooing. I'm trying to do the thing. Then I get smashed in, say, San Francisco, and there's some photo of me with my finger down some girl's whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and someone tags it, and then that photo is up, and then that relationship that I've got growing in the other city it de deteriorates because there's too much information being on my life on being right. dealt out. Okay. Yeah, you don't want people putting those pictures. I don't like being tagged. But they're going to, so that's the. I guess that would be the downside. So of now I'm Facebook. getting like, don't take photos of me because I know I'm, I'm doing something stupid. You don't want to be tagged. Yeah, I don't want to be tagged. In photos and stuff. Nobody yeah, I don't like be being tagged. tagged on there because, like, I just had to delete a couple of pictures of me and an ex that was like somebody's like, hey, let me pop these up and uh, I'll His tag ex, what's Anthony ex? in it. It's uh, his stomach. Oh, Jill. It's like, I don't want to, you know, who wants to look at that on my page? Right. Who cares? I don't want to, so delete it. So you untag so, myself. Oh, that's smart. Yeah, that's all. Uh, it's too it's too complicated. MySpace was so much easier. Once I preferred MySpace. MySpace. It was, it was so, so like easier. two years ago. I know everybody, <laughs> but it was it was so much that? easier. Twitter's almost I know old how at to this do. point. Yeah, yeah but MySpace. Probably. I prefer MySpace. Skype, MySpace, yeah. you could put your gigs up and be like, yeah. where you were gigging. And That's now true. More, Facebook's yeah. not like that. You can't advertise as much. It's better for the general public, but for yeah. us comedians, it's not as good. I don't even know how to put top ten friends on Twitter. Can you do that? I mean, on on, on Facebook, can you put like top friends? You have do you to have ten friends, huh? Nothing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I well, I got one in San Francisco now. I'm being rude. I <laughs> 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 We really have to get out of here. Man, the phones are lit after that random oh, answer. Oh, I know people. Uh... By the way, for the people that are wondering, sometimes when they go at the end, I love you, I, I don't even know if that's real or not. I don't know if that guy was now... I have no idea either. That, twisting that or what. But well, that, uh, what are you going to do? That's real quick. How do you say I love you to someone you don't know? Or I like even, to think I wore just, him down. I can't say that to people. Oh, I, love I you. can't say it to it's people. It's just a, I love you. No, you can't it's not say I that. love you. I say that to maybe maybe my wife, definitely my kids, but I love you doesn't... I can't even say that to my parents. I love you. I love you, Voss. Uh -huh. See, that's creepy. Well, it wasn't so hard. No. I, I love Rich Voss. <laughs> yeah. See, now you can tweet that. Jim Jeffrey said uh, he loves me. Yeah, I, I mean, and then I, people would be like, "Oh my god!" I am. Wow. I, am uh, <laughs> I took a picture sleep. of my sushi yesterday. I'm very fond. Then you of see it. what you can do with tweets. <laughs> yeah, <she laughs> took a picture of most mundane <laughs> crap. I went well, with. I went with. Uh, I, I said this yesterday. I went with Dice's Q-tip thing. Yeah, just uh, Q-tipping your ears. Yeah, you know, because you have to well, have she, a status. And Dice is like, "Yeah, you could say you're uh, you know, Q-tipping your ears." I'm like, "I'm going to do that later." He I'm was gonna, in studio. Why yeah. would he? He. We wanted him to stay on that show. My wife and I were watching. Oh yeah, we were talking about that. Why would he? He he almost just threw himself off on purpose. But why would the, he do that? The, why would they throw him off when he's a guy that is being so entertaining? Yeah, he's a. Self, I don't think it's his. He's fault. a self-destructive ass. You know what you're but, getting when you get dice. But Donald and Mark Burnett, who understands reality programming was really stupid because it, it doesn't matter who's the first to get kicked off. You kick some other dummy off yeah. and you let the guy continue because he's going to give you good Dice stuff. being an ass on, on the show. So I blame really Mark Burnett and he Donald Trump way more regardless. than Dice himself. Right. I yeah. mean, that was yeah. great that yeah. he went to do radio. That was That's what he should do. Yeah. Uh, uh, Anthony. I, I, you know. It, uh, maybe uh -oh. I shouldn't read these. What? Fanatic uh, Philly from Philly writes, and has the how, uh, how the Grinch stole Christmas stomach. No, that's like, like the way the Grinch was drawn. <laughs> that's pretty funny. You like got uh, like skinny beer belly. Yeah, skinny beer belly. So if I was on Twitter, would I would I put oh, March twentieth and twenty first at the Arlington Draft House in Arlington, Virginia? That's what I would put on Twitter. Do you, people you do that? that? You could do that, but it, put. They'll, they'll they'll get bored after a while. They'll yeah, start you know, dropping plugs. you. Okay, so I'm not I'm not doing. You doing can plug, anything. but no. you, you just got to spread those plugs out. I'm not gonna plug it all on Twitter. I'm like gonna a, get good at Twitter. Uh, yeah. You know, like I mean, Sunday. You know, F H Riley's. You know, you know, it's parade day in Huntington, so it's gonna be a oh. a great day to be at F H Riley's in Huntington. What's wow. the parade for? St. Patrick's Day. Isn't that the 17th? Yes, but everyone else throws their parade earlier because they don't want to compete, like Ann said, with the city yeah. parade. Oh, good yeah, idea. You have a parade in Huntington when there's a big parade going on in New York City. You're going to be alone. So. My birthday's this weekend. I don't want to compete with the other June 30th. Uh-huh. That's a good idea, not to compete with New York. Yeah, yeah so you keep saying it. It's not going to get any fun. Nope. I, I know. I'm trying to bail <laughs> myself out. I'm trying to figure out how to make it funny. Yeah. Twitter it. No, Twitter it. Suck? It yeah. won't be funnier in print. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. So I'll see a lot of people at FH on Sunday. And you're going to go? Uh, sure. It's yeah, Parade it? Day uh, in Huntington. Uh, parade. It's, right. it's actually a really good time. And then, of course, the big news is uh, Jim Jeffries, who killed for us the last couple of days, the big uh, HBO taping tomorrow night. I'm on Saturday. Uh, a whole bunch of us guest, are going. Uh, Jason Ellis. With a, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's coming on stage. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm thinking to cancel my gig just to come watch. You know what? If you're going to the big taping tomorrow, let's let's... You know, let's really hit it hey, out of the sure. park with Jim Jeffries. Jim Jeffries at broadwayvideo.com. Email them. Uh, I, I have a suspicion that it may already be all done and dusted, but they I, will get back imagine. to you. But, all right. Uh, yeah, you come along. Thank you. We'll just stand out the front in the vigil. All right, we'll continue uh, with the show in just a bit. Hi, Jim yeah. Jeffries. Hello. Rich Voss. Why is our mics a bit on the low side? My headphones weren't. I knew I hey, should have hey, lowered them hey, before hey, that hey, came hey, on. Hey, hey. I never go. do that, too. It was a rookie mistake. I put the headphones on, and then I went to the computer yeah. when it was all silent, and yeah. then the music yeah. kicked in, and yeah. uh, I think I'm, what? my hearing is gone now. Did he change out these microphones? Fucking Valby woke up. We wanted to do that live on the air. Uh, man. Look, he knows when to wake up. He knows when to come to the table. What is wrong with the microphones? <laughs> Holy shit. My one smells of disinfectant. It's very nice. Yeah. If I go like this, you completely lose, and the, I have to eat the mic. What oh, happened, the, Yeah, Mars? there's some kind of a thing now where we... What the fuck we, happened? Where they changed the fucking Omni to... Uh, what do you do, man? No, there's something different. Trust me. Is there? Yes. Oh, oh look at that. He's got that scared immigrant that look. Happen? <laughs> Everyone, up. all right now. <laughs> What's the deal? I, I can't. That, that's a look before a boat ride. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! The, the mic, my mic is fucked up. I'm telling you, I've been doing is this that? way too long. And this is the lip, this is the thing that drives me nuts when the mic. You just gotta get different. Got to eat it. Yeah, well, you're extremely loud in my headphones, and I'm really low. And then if I go here, then it's Whoa. too loud. Am I really loud? Because I don't seem like uh Yeah, you like really are. Loud. And is my mic now? is like, there's nothing Check going on on it. Because I sound perfect to me now. Like yeah, actually, that's good. good. Yeah, okay. keep with that. All right, no problem. That's good. Rich? Thanks, yeah, this is good. He's not as loud as he is fat. So you're a little louder than Anthony. Yeah, Anthony yeah. Anthony is where we want to be this is with everything. This never sounded better. Yeah, you're I good. I think I'm Jim, your turn. Uh, hello, everyone. You're, oh, this you're is weird. louder than Anthony as well. I, I project. Rich? This is, uh, I'm you're louder than Jim. Yeah, yeah, but I'm better looking. And you're both way louder than Anthony. Water. Back to Anthony. Anthony? I feel good now. This yeah, that's perfect. Exactly we want to work off Anthony's mic because that's perfect. Everybody said it to them. Yeah, all right. Hey, we got a live uh, studio audience. Look at that. Very enthusiastic live studio audience. All men. <laughs> I think there's a woman out there. No, there's, two, there's two women out there. That's why I, I, I yell at these guys all the time. I'm like, look, if we soften our delivery just a little bit, we'll get to look at some puss. Yeah. Oh, that, <laughs> was that a soft delivery right <laughs> but, there? Just a little bit. But is it worth it? That, but instead, we get this every day. And we appreciate you guys. You but, know that. But, but the pussy you do get is quality and no, that one's She's cute, the one right there. The, the Where? The guy I don't grabbed, see, I don't the see guy one girl. The guy to make sure he's with her. I don't see one girl like, right there. there. Where? Oh, yeah, no, she's all right. Dude, they, they protect the women. Yeah. They're, they're women like yeah. fucking tigers. The, guy, she, uh, the bloated Clark Kent looking guy. She's coming in. She's coming in. <laughs> uh, I liked oh, her more when she was behind the stand. Into the den of yeah. fucking lions over here. You know what I noticed about this girl right off the bat when she was coming in here she was wearing a lot less clothing and then realized there's a bunch of animals in here and she covered yeah. up right is that true is they hospital pants yeah she's got yeah, the sexy hospital she's getting ready to get on. beat and and a hospital top hey. 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 Uh, so you just escaped from a mental institution <laughs> now she's some kind of a uh, hospital worker she's right take a ride in a lamborghini yeah, yeah. Well, well what do you do what do you do a nurse oh i see i just got off of the shift uh, yeah you must have loved my rant about the healthcare shit this morning, huh? <laughs> hey, fuck them, cut it. I don't give a uh, shit. Anthony, and she's white. What? I know, I you see You were that. saying that. Uh, I was uh, saying uh, a majority, uh, but although she could I mean, be, have some Hispanic color, but... blood in her. What's no? this? No. You're Italian, right? No. What you're do you got? Irish. Irish. No. Black Irish. You're Polish. No. What do you got you're, going on? Oh, you're Polish? Yeah. yeah. All right. As, as a nurse, what's, <laughs> what's the strangest thing? I'd like to invade thing? your borders. Yeah. You, yeah. You hear this question, what's the strangest thing someone's come into the hospital stuck in their, was stuck in their ass? Oh, my God. Besides wow. Morton's tongue. Yeah. Your wife. Oh, jeez. Oh, for one. They do come in with that. <laughs> <laughs> Anything? I mean, oh. 
Are Stranger you an ER thing. nurse? Uh, no, I, I'm med search. Yeah, what time? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, it's all like, um, you know, post-op, pre-op uh, patients. Oh, really? So when they're getting yeah. wheeled in and wheeled out, you're there. How many, yeah. how many deaths do you see in a day? Uh, it, it all depends. I Such guess, a cheery day. job, isn't it? Yeah, no yeah I know. I, why'd you pick a job that's the, so depressing? The real, the real answer it's is not Rich Foster. It's got to be. There's sick people everywhere. Oh, for two. Yeah, but you're there to help, so it's not like... Ah, <laughs> uh, you're there to help, like... You, did you have, always have, like, this Florence Nightingale kind of complex? As a I'll kid? get one. I'll get one. Did you put the Band-Aids on your I'm little tired. dollies and stuff like that? No, not really. But no? No. What made you go into uh, that field? Was it uh, uh, the, the money, or was it, like, a real calling that you had to help people? Uh, I guess it was a calling. Really? And uh, yeah, I like to I like to see the blood, guts, and gore. Oh, is that yeah. it? Really? Nice. Yeah. Yeah. You go down to the morgue every so often, just for some laughs, <laughs> for a chuckle. Yeah, yeah actually. Yeah. <laughs> is that your boyfriend? They look just like Voss's audience. <laughs> there you are. Excuse me, fat show. I'm talking about. <laughs> All right. We <laughs> get the fat joke. Uh, shut up. All right, <laughs> kangaroo <laughs> pouch. Uh, is that your trying. boyfriend out there? Yeah. Oh, How long have you been, you. How you long long you been with him? Uh, almost two years. Is it w working out? Yeah. It's I mean, is there really anything now. you want to tell him now on the radio? <laughs> now would be the time. He's all happy and cheerful. Why don't you ruin is his he? day and tell him about one of the doctors you're banging? I don't. I seriously, uh, I don't doubt that. So, is there, how long you been doing the, the story she tells me from when three, she's at two work? Two years. And uh, yeah. you, you going to marry this guy? No. Uh, no. Oh God. <laughs> so what are you wasting your time on each other for if you have no idea? Can we ask him? Are you going to marry this woman? You could ask her now, sir. That'd be fun, radio. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, hey, why are you, you putting put me on the spot like what, that? What are you waiting oh, no, for? No. She's not Dude, getting I'm... any younger, fella. Oh, 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 oh thanks. <laughs> Dude, you're like a dud. <laughs> yeah. oh. You're kind of a dud. Like, she's got a cool job and shit. And yeah. not, well, not cool, cool but it's... A, no, she, she maybe not do. cool, but it's like a career. What do you have? What do you do? I'm a uh, video production specialist for oh. uh, Pearson Education. You work at a video store. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 do you, what do you do? Like, what does that mean? Um, what do you do? Pearson publishes like Penguin books, uh, Financial Times. Books for uh, Penguin. All right, all right, all right. right. But they do uh, they do DVDs. Anyone who went to college, I don't know if that's the audience here. They do. F oh, yeah. those DVDs that, was that an come insult, in the back by the way. Book. That was a backhanded uh, <laughs> that was. Uh, insult. That was, yeah, certainly yeah. was. Uh, I don't know if any of you go to Sorry. college, but <laughs> so you you do you pretty much have uh, brought film strips to the future <laughs> and, and and did because when we were in school it was a film strip that went beep and you change it but now yeah. it's on like DVD so you put the most boring shit absolutely it's the most boring DVD shit that nobody wants to watch and send it out to school so they could you know Hemo the Magnificent we will yeah. teach you about blood <laughs> and the circulatory system I go to work and I keep telling myself that I'm making a difference and I, uh, really I know I'm not, yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. See, no, I'm not. you want to see your future look to the right him, oh, that boy. man. What's you look exactly guy? like he looks like. That's what he looks like. He's gonna grow up and look like him. <laughs> oh. Okay, but that guy's wearing a nice suit. You'll that's true. Nice yeah. Suit. Yeah. Yeah. No. So uh, what? Do, what do you think? You you like this guy for what? His sense of humor? <laughs> Is he funny? Is it because he's so dynamic? Something tells me he's not funny. <laughs> Something no. tells me the gig doesn't yeah. pay a lot. He's yeah, not yeah. funny. That's a good question. Why do you uh, like this dude? What's, yeah. what's the big get with him? Yeah. Big he cock? Lets, what, do you, what does he got going on? Uh, he lets you put sorry. a strap on on? Are you a size queen and he's got something? <laughs> yeah. well, let, her, let her give an answer. Why, yeah. uh, why are you with this guy? Were you like 700 pounds and he stuck with you? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, no, that's, that's the that real awesome. reason she wears those pants. Damn. Damn. <laughs> hey, that's All a right. good question. He, like, he likes <laughs> licking your <laughs> stretch marks. Oh, Rich. I'm oh, asking, oh, Rich. Oh, Rich. Why are you getting greedy? What are you hammering her for? Come on. What's wrong with you? Yeah. Rich, you want to rip into the guy and you're calling a stretch yeah. mark woman. Anyway, tell Come us on. more about those. Yeah. <laughs> why, 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 what, what attracted you to him? Yeah. Oh, he's a good guy. Oh, yeah. 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 So There's a great yeah. guy over here, darling. Oh, yeah. yeah. Everybody. Um, you know, rich. any guy that isn't just smacking bitches around is, is a good guy. Yeah, what is it about? Another, there's another guy here. How'd you, he's how'd not you meet? great, but I'm here. How'd he, you meet? On a bike ride. On a bike ride? Yeah. Oh, he's and, a faggot. What? And, uh, yeah, through a friend. It was, uh, you know. Yeah, through a friend. You're on a little bike ride. And you start chit chatting, and what kind of? There must have been other guys on the bike ride. What separated him no, from the it pack? No, was, it was. It was. Just <laughs> she was on his handlebars. It was a bunch of girls. <laughs> the bulge in his bike shorts. <laughs> it was just me she and my was the bike. And uh, 
Him. And him? How did he get his way, weasel his way in there? Oh, your girlfriend was friends with him? Yeah. So yeah. was she trying to be the matchmaker? No, not really. We just no? all kind of went out. Wow, you're pretty easy. Just bring a guy along and <laughs> that was it. So what ha What did he do that kind of made you go, oh, this guy might be worth pursuing? Told, told her he we needed to lose his So it wasn't just like the bike ride that, like, Did he ask you know, for your you number over. after the bike ride? Um, or did he have to remember. go through the mutual wow, friend? Like, you don't remember anything. This is the <laughs> dullest relationship I know. I've you know, ever I, seen. I remember There's everything. There's no passion oh, here. Throw it out, out there, hon. I went down on my wife the second night I met her in a car. I remember everything. Right, yeah. How do you not remember? What, yeah. do you, what is it about this guy that He said like? throw it out there, so I guess yeah. he got throw permission. Throw it out there? Now. What do you want me to throw out? What do you do just for the swing? The coy. The swinging, the cuckolding. What? Yeah, what's the deal with you this You hear guy? that? She, she's on the spot, Anthony. She's she's being yeah. way too coy. About, is she? About the shit she talks about, yeah. Oh, yeah? Just to, to ask her about work. Ask her about the real stuff that goes on. Uh, what's the real stuff you that goes on? Between you and your co-workers. Oh, shit. Oh, oh fuck. Young oh, Clark Kent is getting real. <laughs> you jack off the Clark cadavers? Kent. What's going on at work? What's going on there? <sighs> Come on. Well, Tell out with the it. Doctors that you know. All right, you know, that's enough. Oh, shit, something's going on with the doctors? I used to work at a disabled home, and there used to be this girl that used to wank off the downies. Like, <laughs> the downies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, wank and, off the and, downies. And, and, and all the people with cerebral palsy, and she saw it as like a charitable contribution. Yeah, well, it probably was. She was popular down the home. Uh, I imagine wow. she would be. It was probably all just animal noises when she would I, walk in. I used to down up just for a shot. <laughs> <laughs> I sit in a wheelchair, yes. roll, and wait for my hand. Wait, this guy's back. Just, yeah. an, just an added bonus. She, she yeah. failed to mention she's a uh, certified massage therapist. Oh, and? wow. She failed to mention something so exciting. It, it's very <laughs> exciting. Uh, massage therapist isn't a fucking Yankee Cranky shop. That <laughs> means she does legitimate, like, you have this muscle pain, and I'll fix it. Yeah. We're yeah. talking, we need, like, full fucking release. <laughs> she, do, she probably doesn't do that. Oh, she well, won't do it when she's got her massage table out. For some reason, she treats it like a like a holy bed. And, uh, yeah. Well, cause it's a, it's, she's a certified it's like, come on, massage therapist. There, there, there are people like, that do take it seriously. You seem like a wild, <laughs> you seem like a wild guy. During <laughs> sex, do you ever make her wear your glasses? <laughs> <laughs> Boss, never try to eat and talk at the same time. I got to gonna... laugh. Will you leave me alone? I got to laugh. You're just jealous because I can eat without gaining weight. Oh. <laughs> you know, it's not even... What? Yeah, but Voss, uh, keep going. Right. Yeah, hold on. Oh, my God. What? Well, you know, let's... How about Go ahead. Move on Anthony's fat. You're ugly, but he can lose weight. That's really? Yeah. Me and her are going to yell your name tonight to keep from coming. How about oh, that? <laughs> Why would you fucking, take on Rich like that? You're right, you're fucking right. Fucking L7. You're right, that this was is where bad Rich, move, like, bad rules. Idea. That you can really work bad. this I... crowd like nobody. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are we going to move on from this uh, exciting couple or what? Yeah, yeah, that's no, it. We really so found out more. a lot. See, all it takes. <laughs> Thank God uh, Jeffrey saved us with that downy thing. <laughs> <laughs> I do what I can where I can. All it takes is a vagina to get uh, a microphone in this room. Yeah, it's I hear. amazing. I hear Kevin Nealon's here, but we also have John Valby here, who just woke up from a nice little nap, uh, right, John? Yes, I did. What, you drive all night to get here? Uh, no, drove all day yesterday, and then uh, played in New Brunswick and uh, uh -huh. had a few tequilas last night. Ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, wow, tequila. I, I know, I was here early this morning, Hard too. Morning. I didn't know it was 9.30. So, uh, oh, really? You were here early? <laughs> he oh, I was well, here at 8. That way you got, you a, didn't good, know it was you got a good nap. That's yeah, fine, I did. Man. It was a fine yeah. little couch. That's good. Yeah, you play in the Stress Factory? You're playing Vinny's Club, right? Uh, yeah, that was last night, yeah. Are you playing uh, there tonight? Nope. Where are you tonight? Uh, nowhere tonight. I'm uh, taking my sister out to dinner. Oh, cool. She's a... Uh, New York uh, opera singer girl, and really, we're gonna have a little mm. family time. Wait, Musical she, family, for legit opera. She legit does? opera, yeah, yeah. No, but, she does fucking dirty opera. <laughs> 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 well, you gotta ask, right? She's wearing Some a fucking Viking hat, masseuses, you doing know. dick jokes. You're doing like <laughs> opera music. That is pretty fucked up. One family, you got dildos up the hat <laughs> instead of the lawns. <laughs> That's pretty fucked up. One family's got the yeah. legit opera singer, and then you got John Valby doing very well with what he does. Yeah. Yeah. Doing the yin and yang and the ring. Does she do Carnegie Hall and all that? Uh, I think she's played there once oh, or twice. Holy shit! Yeah. Yeah. He's, he is classical. Uh, yeah, 
I know. Penis, so. yeah. Yeah. He's very good. <laughs> he's doing VFW halls, and she's doing Carnegie halls. You know their parents <laughs> beat them and made them do music, even if they didn't want to. Yeah. Have you ever heard John Valby? No. Oh, oh Jim Jeffries, yeah. you're gonna love this guy. We love John yeah. Valby. We've been trying to get you on our stupid comedy tour for years, uh, but hey. it never works out because you got you're you're booked to, until the 2020 or something. <laughs> well, you know, oh, you just give me three or four months' notice, and I'll. Well, we don't know that. if we're gonna have jobs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> three or four months notice. What's that? Notice like that is. We don't even know if we're it. doing a comedy. Uh, Your stocks might go up in that time. Right. Yeah, right, yeah. Right. From my penny fucking Citadel stock. Yeah, you know it. It has been getting better the last four or five months. Yeah. Uh, at least for me, all of a sudden places are packed again. <laughs> oh yeah, you're you know seeing how, that? That's yeah, good. Like in the '30s when the movies really took off. Yeah. yeah. I think with this little depression, you got a little money. Rich, we're going out. Did that happen? Time. Huh? That's true. <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? I'm losing audience members rapidly. Every oh, time good. I talk, Ron. I, I meant in the I 30s, for, I, the theaters pack that's out. That's your routine, <laughs> man. That's your routine. I'm no. getting bigger and bigger every day, Voss. Well, you're a big act. You're a novelty. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Fucking ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When people find out I'm actually from Cincinnati, my whole career goes to shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, see, I see Valby. He keeps he hitting his keys and nothing's happening. Is it supposed oh, is to be? Oh, is that what I need to do? Yeah, oh, there it is. That's yeah. nice. You want to get us uh, rolling here, John, sure. or what? I'd love to hear something. Sure. John Valby, everyone. They say a girl should always dress for the job she wants. So why are all these girls tonight dressed up like slutty cunts? <laughs> it's all because some hackers stole their identity. Now they have to make a buck dropping to their knees. Should have gone to freecreditreport.com. Or you'll be sucking pirate dick just like your crackhead mom. <laughs> They monitor your credit, give you email alerts, so you don't end up sucking on a dick until it squirts, or end up getting fucked right up the ass until it hurts. Uh, yeah. God damn. Oh, nice. Everyone came to see you today there, John. Uh, yeah. We never have a crowd on Fridays. They came for you. Fucking ass. <laughs> Salute. I don't believe any of it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God for fucking with that song because I can't stand, stand those, those commercials. commercials. Yeah. No. I want to see that band fucking go out like Great White. <laughs> 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 Although they didn't die, unfortunately. Oh, oh come on. You the joke. What, you like Great White? Sorry. Oh, no, I don't like the group, but uh, that club, that was a nice club. Nice oh, club. you played there? No, he was yeah. booked yeah. there the next week. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, well. Well, uh, times pass by, right? Uh, no, apparently there. not. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> You got another one for? Uh, uh, yeah, I got a new Christmas one that I. I ah, uh, it's okay. Perfect. All right. It also came from a commercial, you know. Oh, okay. All right. I love the original song. Girls, listen up, take my advice on Christmas Day. Give something nice, don't knit a scarf, don't give a tie, don't pussy out, this is your guy. Take it from me, cut to the crap, drop to your knees, face to the left. Grab on his cock and puck, puck her up and bob up and down and bob up and down. Give a, give a, give a, give a blowjob, give a, give a, give a, give a, a blowjob. That's what he wants, I guarantee. Take it from me, that's what he wants, that's what he wants, that's what he wants. <laughs> <laughs> That was the uh, theme, <laughs> going, a common thread going through there. Uh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah, Valby loves the blowjob. The blow oh, job. God damn, Come on. nothing finer. Can I ask Mars something? What happened? Uh, the past few days, yeah. I've noticed um, a light show going on in the studio. The fucking lights will just shut off, Yeah. and then they'll just uh, turn back on. You know what that is, right? What is that? That's the mice. No, that's a, there's a problem with the lights. Um, they get... They overheat the circuit, and the circuit protects itself by turning it off. Ah. Put a penny in it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we used to do. <laughs> Did you call him a penny? And you call him a cent? Do you call a little one cent penny? Coin? It's a cent. You got yeah. a fucking quid, a pound of. No, fucking... no, but it's a penny. It's penny and pence. I didn't know that pence. you even knew what a penny was. Yeah, a penny. Yeah, well, right. he's got a he's got a hundred thousand dollars worth of stock. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you still call your cents pennies? Yeah, this there's still pennies. This yeah. isn't funny. But yeah, it's no, no, it's pennies, pennies, pence, cents, whatever. Tuppins. Right. Get your own currency. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we do have our own currency. Yeah. We had a penny a long time. Yeah. You have a penny. Cents, pounds and pence. 
<laughs> I didn't say pence. I said penny. But penny comes from the word pence. Exactly. It's fucking our English. Leave it alone. Yeah, yeah. All right. We made up our own after we kicked your fucking asses out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you red-coated fucking lined up victims yeah. to leave before we shoot you again. All great, right. great fucking battle technique. Yeah, load the musket. Let's yeah. Well, hey. Stand in a straight line. They'll never <laughs> see us coming. Why do we wear red coats, too? Great oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then to have a drum. So oh. the element of surprise is there. I like how they're all drunk as well. Oh, they probably were. Well, we all they like, losing it. Let's go do it. This is off as wrong. Rather. It started it's in a bar. Stupid. <laughs> we'll beat them. I see. Yeah. I see the Red Bulls are flowing over there, John. Ah, from tequila to Red Bull. That's brilliant. Uh, yeah, I, away, I, up man. and down, up and down. Yeah, I understand. Is that it? The poor man's fucking speedball, the tequila, and then the Red That's Bull, it. right? That's it. I love, I love Red Bull. Before Red point. Bull, man, well, what were we drinking? Cocaine. I don't remember getting it's high on snorting beverages. cocaine. Yeah, but, I, but now it's like I still take coke and uh, oh, Red Bull. okay. <laughs> I don't take coke in this country because you people frown upon it, but in Britain it's like a beverage. Like people offer it a lot more. Really? It's not as it's not as prolific over here. It was. See, you guys are like back in the fucking eighties, yeah. though. Over there, oh, I don't have in the eighties, it was huge. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was huge in the eighties here. Oh, Everyone it, did coke. How, how much is a gram of coke in this town? I couldn't tell you these days. Two two blowjobs. <laughs> See, that's <laughs> oh, and Ray, Ray, if, if you were wearing your tight pants, how much was it, Rich? <laughs> your dealer giving you a fucking deal with your balls hanging out. If you if you. <laughs> If he sees the dickhead, you get a quarter <laughs> gram for free. <laughs> I don't even know. What's a gram of coke go for? A gram of coke in Britain's fifty quid, but I think over here it's only like eighty it's only like um like Sixty bucks or something. Isn't it? it depends. Wow, I mean, that's cheap. I've Someone's only, nodding. I, I, I bought, I bought the guy one. grinding his teeth is nodding. Yeah, we had a few nods bought, out there. I bought one gram in Kansas, but I feel like it traveled further because that's inland. You got to get like dock type of stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's got to oh, make it's, its way to the fucking shoreline. Can I get in trouble for saying this live? That I bought, ah, that no, you do no, it. You, bring it here. You know. How much does a gram of coke go for? You know. No. <laughs> I listen, when I well, stopped, maybe you'd know. When I stopped <laughs> 23 years ago, you could get a gram of good rock coke up in Harlem for like 60 or 70 We're bucks. We're talking about powder, yeah, not that yeah. fucking crack No, I'm not talking shit, crack. I'm talking about that's, before it's cooked. I'm talking that stuff will make your teeth fall no, out, Rich. Listen to me. Yeah. <laughs> listen to me. Okay. I'm talking. That's how real men do coke. They smoke it. Anybody can snort it. <laughs> snort. Fuck that. Oh, real sell, men? Sell your I mother's car it. to get high. I see a man. I toilet seats, mate. That's the most masculine yeah. thing you yeah, that's because you want to come I'd there, too. I'd take it with a line of hepatitis. <laughs> <laughs> and, by the way, when you're snorting coke, you what? get a higher caliber, uh, a caliber of girl than you do smoking it. You get crackhead fucking bitches. Yeah. But if you're snorting coke, you'll get club chicks. First of all, if you're, doing, you if you're a real coke addict... You don't want some bitch to share your coke with. You want to isolate in a hotel. I'm not talking and about smoke a crack whore. You don't want any and girl. And smoke it because you're talking you don't want crack whores. You're, you're coke. talking crack whores, not fucking no, girls any that'll girl snort some coke. Sitting there when you're doing coke, talking and fucking grinding her teeth. Oh, you want a go guy there? No, you don't want suck anybody. Suck his dick for more fucking coke. I'm not an addict. I want to have the yeah. coke to entice the woman back to my the hotel. Social atmosphere, it's, right? It's my caveman's club. Coke was right. currency. What do you mean? Bingo. That's cool. If you coke was fucking. A chick magnet, not a rich, riches. Who in the beginning? Because you didn't want a girl that was going to yeah. suck on a crack pipe. Uh, no, I didn't want a girl that was disgusting. even when I snorted. Who wants to fucking give your coke to some little coke whore Dude. that's going to just? Because you know, there's people like out there that do it socially, not like you. You, yeah, I don't, I don't know an addict. I do it socially yeah. to get myself. Yeah. It's good to have sex on it and to bring a girl. Then, yeah. Okay, yeah. so the money you're spending for the coke, just go get you, you spend half on the coke, go get blown from some hooker. What the no, fuck? You no, you fucking... No, because I like the conversation. I'm right. a people person. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's what it's about. You're over the house. You got some coke. The girls there. You're doing coke. Uh, we did. Some all. Drinks. We played that fucking game. Then you fucking you 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 promote yourself to smoking it. You don't want nobody around. That's all right. right. I'll oh, smoke oh, it. You've convinced right. me. What yeah, I'm doing is silly. Yeah, smoke it. I don't want to smoke it. Do you want to get sixty dollars coming in a lot? So sixty bucks must now. Be going right. I know it's a lot so that, more than that. So that means yeah, we're paying a bit more. But you know how much it is in Australia. How much do you reckon coke costs in Australia? One kangaroo fucking pouch. About 250 content. Australian dollars, and it's like 80 cents to the American dollar. So what's that, like uh, 100 and 50, 160, 170 bucks. But then we set our clock back Sunday. Now what? Yeah. 
That messes everything. <laughs> up. I, have, uh, yeah. I have I have no idea what the but exchange rate what, is what, for what, Australia. What we take like. in Australia is everyone's into speed because you can make that in laboratories because it, it's too much to import the coke from yeah, sort of South yeah. America and all that type of stuff to get it into Crystal the country. Crystal meth is that Ms. meth? Crystal meth, huge heroin problem. Yeah, but uh, we love whiz speed, man. Well, what, why don't yeah, we ask? It, we should ask Kevin Nealon. He, he knows all about coke. We should bring him in here. And uh, oh, that's right. I hear he's still got a problem. Here. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've never met Kevin Nealon. I'm actually a fan. I'm getting a little bit nervous about meeting him. The fucking coke fiend. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Kevin Nealon? We should bring him into the party. <clears throat> and we got John Valby. We got everybody. There he is. For the first time on the Opie and Anthony show, Kevin Nealon, the coke fiend himself. <laughs> Hello, Kevin. He's sniffing right now. Man. <laughs> yeah, man, I, I listen up. You guys know your stuff. Well, yeah, we, about uh, cocaine and you know yeah. coke and blowjobs and uh, Rich Voss. Rich Voss, who used and to smoke Jeffries. the crack by himself. <laughs> nice, because that was the way to do it, I guess. He yeah. had it all wrong, Kevin. I he never understood wrong. the social aspect of coke, especially in the eighties. Not everybody was like hiding no. out smoking rock. I, it was there was times there were times where a lot of people were over the house. Yeah. you'd be doing no. blow, and then you do some have some drinks, and actually you know spend some paranoid time together. We did that. I did all that bullshit. We used to have parties, get coke. The girls would come over, the little yeah. coke well, that, that contributed nothing. Okay, maybe they gave us some pussy, but who cares? Coke is more important than pussy. No, it's not. If, if you no. Were, yes, coke. If you're a coke addict, it depends on how you cut it. I'm with that. If you're cut the pussy, I have never done coke, to be honest with you. And I've been offered mansions full of coke. You know, doing in the comedies, you know, doing stand up in the '80s. Every club owner would like put the coke out. They assume you did the coke, and they bring in the back room and they put on the mirror. There you go, but there you go. You know, I go. Sorry, I don't do that. I don't do coke. Yeah. You put it in your pocket and save for the girls, though, because they would. That would have been a good idea. Probably would have been a good idea. Yeah, right in your pocket. Yeah. Yeah. What are you gonna do? I mean, we we bang girls on coke all night. We were selling it, banging girls, running to the door, selling it, banging. girls. I feel when I have sex on coke that I'm about to die, though. Like, I'm <laughs> just laying, you are. I'm laying in a silhouetted puddle of my sweat on a blanket, just, uh, 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 and then I do it again, and then my cock's all beaten up the yeah. next day. <laughs> I think like, it's all, like, swelled and shit. I picked up a girl in Worcester. I was working up in yeah. Worcester, yeah. and I picked up a waitress. I did a coke bit on stage, and she goes, oh, I do coke. I go, do you know where to get any? This is up in Worcester. She, Worcester. We get, Is it Worcester. 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 So we drove. I couldn't find any up there. We drove to Harlem. We drove back down. I bought from Worcester to from Harlem. Worcester. Yeah, I bought like five hundred dollars worth of freebase. Got some shitty hotel in Jersey. Smoked it all. Had no money left. Right. Fucked and whatever. Uh, had no, no like enough. I, and now I got to drive this bitch back home. Yeah, but you got to fuck her. Oh. Big deal. I blew five hundred dollars. What else do you want to do with women? Just back then, that you was. You know what it is? Though the interesting part of the story, that woman now his wife. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not his child. It's, it can happen. <laughs> and you had to drive all the way back to Worcester. Yeah, and I'm driving. All of a sudden, my nose starts bleeding. So we pull over and. In, in like Hartford to try to get a little more coke. We had like oh, twenty bucks, great and we, and we couldn't get over. coke. If Hartford's we, which, a good place to stop with a nosebleed. Yeah, 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 exactly. cool. So we ended up getting <laughs> ripped off by heroin, and it was just fucking horrible. And I had to go back up to Boston and do one more night and drop her off. And, I, and my clothes were there in a bag because I didn't have luggage because I was a drug addict. And fucking, it was just oh, yeah. horrible. So why, did the next week why did you stop doing this stuff? Because uh, it's it just like a great I, time. I can't drive that much. No, I went to oh. rehab a week after. Oh, you did? That's right. Well, that I, was I did you afford rehab if you didn't have money. Good, that's a good bottom. It, it was, uh, <laughs> you got rich parents. No, you? no, the rehab was free. It was a, it was a uh, through the county or through is the... It, is, it hard, is it hard to drive with a nosebleed? you got to hold your nose back? It was poor. It was horrible. you got to use a mirror a lot. A mirror to drive forward. <laughs> it was fine. I went to rehab and I have not picked anything up in 23 years. Oh, we know. 23 oh, years. All right. <laughs> God, I'd love to see you relapse. <laughs> you, you don't yeah, wear the necklaces awful. or anything, right? No. With the years. No, you I stopped going to meetings. I'm dry drunk. You stop. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're a waste of time. He no. does everything <laughs> differently. Look at his body. He's a, a, a Jewish tattoo. You don't even drink. 
No, well, yeah, nothing. Yeah, no, yeah, nothing. I don't you look haggard. Do you eat? You eat food? <laughs> <laughs> not red meat. Not red meat. Not red meat. I'm 51 years old. Look, you're fucking in your 30s and you're a walking. You look like a jellyfish with scoliosis. You have fucking horrible posture. You should be in a tower ringing a bell. I you're a fucking I mess. Okay, posture. shut up. All right, tower no pigment. I'm fucking in great shape. Where pigment. are you from? Are you from Australia? I'm from Australia originally. Yeah, but I've been living in London for the last eight years or something. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I'm all fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I know how I look. I'm not proud of. Do you know where you are right all, now? Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I, I know. I'm one step away from getting plugs like Anthony and uh, I have plugs. my They're teeth falling Individual out like, follicles. <laughs> <laughs> like Rich Voss. <laughs> <laughs> the only person that's sort of hanging in there is Opie and his hot wife. Oh, wow. <laughs> my wife opened for you. My wife opened for Kevin. Yeah. And and I think she worked with him too. What's it? Oh, Bonnie yeah. McFarlane. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. your wife? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, Don't, yeah. Let's yeah, stop yeah, right yeah. there. Yeah. Oh, no. He calls yeah. her number 27. <laughs> She's great. Yeah, yeah she, she likes coke and, uh, and uh, I haven't yeah. seen her in a while, but last time yeah. I saw her, she was funny and hot. Yeah. 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 Coked off a tit. What is, uh, <laughs> what, what is Kevin Nealon up to these days? Well, that's a good question. Yes, uh, that's why I asked. Kevin Nealon is a very, very busy man. Yeah. Um, he couldn't make it here today. He could not make it. I'm here in, in lieu of Kevin. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, we have the third, fifth season of Weeds coming up. Uh, fifth season? April How do these 7th? shows like... Uh, Val, I'm amazed you, you, uh, at that. It's like a fan of weeds. Five seasons. My wife loves Coming up on five. It's amazing. Uh, loves, we got yeah. a weeds. Uh, Valby's yeah. wife loves the weeds. Yeah. We love the weeds in my house. You like the weeds? Yeah, a lot Kevin of people Neal rules on weeds. weeds. Yeah, we got the weeds thing coming up, and uh, I'm doing a new show with Catherine O'Hara. You know her from SCTV. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah. It's called Glenn Martin DDS, and I play Glenn Martin, and um, we have a dysfunctional family. And we travel around the country in an RV, and I do my pr uh, dentist uh, You're a dentist dentist practice on the road. out of the uh, RV, yeah. I got a book out called Yes, You're Pregnant, But What About Me? And uh, <laughs> that's available in bookstores and Amazon.com. Stop me when Look you want Look at wanna. you. You're all over the place. Yeah, a little a of everything. special Fucking coming up. over it um, Interesting, uh, <laughs> this, this dentist on the road story. Yeah, yeah I like that one. What, um, give me a little more on that. Well, um, it's uh, it's produced by Michael Eisner, formerly of Disney. Mm, yes, of course. And um, and it's a really funny show. It's along the veins of um, The Simpsons, Family Guy, that kind of uh, sure. type of humor. And uh, it's really they have really good writers. I think it's going to be a, a good show. Is, is it a cutscene? It it's a claymation. Claymation. Oh, claymation. I love that oh shit. claymation. But you know, here's the thing. Yeah. I thought you know when they said, "Hey, come on and do the voiceover for this." Okay, great. That'd be great. I'm thinking an hour, maybe. Yeah. You know, slay down the tracks. Get out of there. Mm -hmm. Good job. But no. Like two days a week, you know, you go in one day and then you go in another day and you're there from nine to like four doing the one line over and over and over. Holy Can you make it a little hotter? Can you uh, make it a little more angry? You know, you know? <laughs> yeah, accentuate the last syllable. Yeah, yeah. All right, that one. Uh, well, yeah, we did video game voices and uh, it, was, oh, yeah. it was one of those where you, yeah, I'm just going to be in and out. I'm a bad guy. So it's like, yeah, I'll, I'll blow your head off. I'll blow your head off. I'll blow your head off. They want like every possible way you can say it. And claymation. Now, is this computerized claymation or is some it's idiot stop action, like I doing? I don't think they do claymation anymore. I think yeah, it's, it's I, called stop action. Yeah. Stop so action. Like Morrison, yeah. Yeah. It's not thing. like Mr. Bill's doing a guest spot on the show. Uh, or is that, no, I thought maybe a Davy and Goliath kind of a yeah. thing. You know, <laughs> Gumby. You know, Gumby. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah shit, yeah. where it was like real guys having a fucking. <laughs> We'll play with clay. Well, they still do that with the Wallace and Gromits, don't they? And and Tim Burton still does that with the Nightmare. And, yeah, yeah, and that's things. like old school stuff where they just do yeah one frame at a time, mm -hmm. and it takes eighteen years to put a movie out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Something for Who for a series now? that would be a little rough. Now speaking of movies, here's the big thing. Uh -oh. Oh, 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 here we go. Oh. Are you sitting down? Yeah. All right, uh, sure. then, then, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, John. No, I um I've done a film. We actually shot in New Zealand, uh, right outside of Australia. Yes. Um, and it's called um, They Came From Upstairs, and I play Ashley um, Tisdale's father. Are you familiar with Ashley Tisdale? Ash? No. Yeah. High School Musical. One, two, three, and four. <laughs> no, little I... thing called High School Musical. Oh, no, she was one of the girls. She's not yeah, the, she's I one thought, of the girls. I thought she was like an historical figure you were trying to remind. I felt really ignorant. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A very historical oh, American yes, figure. No, she, she knitted, she knitted but... the uh, first flag. That was when they were knitting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. In New Zealand. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that's coming out on July 31st, Damn. and uh, Andy Richter's in it, uh, Tim Meadows, uh, oh, Doris I'm Roberts. I'm <laughs> seeing a little trend there, uh, yeah, yeah. bringing the old gang anyway, together. I'm just going to tell you, there's aliens involved. That's all I can tell you. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, okay. And it's not pretty. Mm, all right.
right? Yeah. We'll see awesome. what happens with that. Sounds like the but more important than that, the big thing, the very big thing, I'm at Caroline's this week. That's <laughs> right. I know it. Finally, okay. A lot of people, I'm telling you, a lot of Caroline. people hope you don't know I do stand-up comedy. You know, they, they, it's they really what I started that. out doing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, I started not. in New Zealand, so that was the problem. Jim, yeah, is, yeah. Yeah, right. Jim is a big fan of yours, Kevin. All right, man. He's a little nervous to meet you. I was, and he's, right? I was, and yeah. he's filming his HBO special tomorrow. I so my, my are first, you really? He's doing got, very got well HBO in his own right. Uh, I'm at the Skirball uh, Center. Look at him getting all up. NYU. I'm a bit nervous, <laughs> yeah. yeah. At the Skirball Center? Yeah, at uh, NYU, yeah, the theater. Uh, there. Yeah, yeah. Are you so. falling apart in front of me? I'm a little bit because I don't want to take the audience members away, but I'm going to do it. I'll crush you. No, you will you will crush me. <laughs> and I'm in Scranton this weekend. Yeah. Oh, and there's another crush right there. Right. Right. Two crushes back to back. Scranton. Scranton. Now, does Bonnie ever open for you? Once in a while, yeah, we go on together. We'll what do you work. mean once in a while? You guys are not all the time. Together. Not with the baby. You know, sometimes, like this This weekend, we'll work. The next three weekends, if just a car involved, then He's we can work. He's a horrible father, by the way. But, but no, what? I'm not. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, I, I got three kids. Hey, no. you're a horrible father. No, you I got one with Bonnie. cocaine for Christ's Yeah, that was sake. before oh, I had so my kids. I, I Bonnie was telling me when we were hanging out last week that you guys were on the road and you were supposed to watch the kid because it was her turn to be on stage. And during her set, the kid, who's only 18 months, walks up I on stage. I did that on purpose. I let the baby walk to her. Said. Oh, great. Well, okay, because it's fucking... She said that's how you're going to spin it now because, you know, you no, look, you you look really, like I'm a gonna bad father. No, really, I'm going to just let the baby roam that's around the club. That's what she said. I do that in the park, but Walked not in the right club. up the middle of uh, the, the club and popped on stage. <laughs> Unless you're doing a live version of the Aristocrats, I don't want to see a baby on the stage. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have three kids, 18 and 16, and we have one 18 month, Bonnie and I. So we work together once in a while. Yeah. Yeah, that's hard working with your wife, I would imagine. It, it, well, if you get in an argument or something, what happens? Yeah, we we just uh, nothing. The we just, they don't just, have an argument. He, he gets, <laughs> so, uh, he gets so Chris Brown. Oh, oh, uh, who else worked together? Oh, Mitch Hedberg and his wife. I think yeah, worked together. that's Bonnie's uh, best friend, Lynn. Oh, is she still doing stand up? Once in a while, yeah, she's funny too. Oh, she's funny. Without she's any, funny. without any uh, disrespect, I hope it's the same end result. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> Mitch. Is it hot in here? Don't take the drugs back I like it when people ask you, is it hot in here? Yeah. Yeah. You know it's not hot in there. It's no, just you. Course. It's just you. Is it just me or is everybody throwing up this morning? <laughs> <laughs> everybody coughing up blood. Or is that just me? <laughs> it's like you want everybody to be hot. You know? Yeah, yeah, it's got to be me. It's like when somebody dies, you know, I, I always ask right away. I say, I'm very sorry, but then I start asking questions, and, and, I, and it comes off like I'm being compassionate, but I'm really I'm trying to find out, could I have anything like that? Yeah, what you know happened? What I mean? what you, was, uh, it? was it difficulty in breathing? And how did that manifest itself? Yeah. You know? <laughs> what, uh, whether it's bleeding from the rectum. Really? That, oh, I have that. <laughs> that is such a paranoid thing of, of being a hypochondriac, because for years I've just like been a, a, a functioning hypochondriac, I think. Like, if you're in a restaurant and the lights dim, to me, I have to acknowledge this. See those lights, Tim, right? <laughs> right. And, it, and if so, if someone even fucked with me and said, "What do you mean, I, tumor? Fuck, get me to the hospital!" <laughs> like I freak out. I can't watch hospital shows. That yeah. fucking show House freaks me out. I can't even watch yeah, the yeah. trailer for it. I like turn it off in the middle. House this week dealing with bloody anuses and penises. <laughs> yeah. uh, it started with just an innocent headache and turned it. I'm like, I have a headache. Right. <laughs> the no, fuck? You probably after you get up from the toilet, you look down and see if there's any blood every time. Yeah, right. I gotta see oh, there's there's something. Yeah. I might something even, I taste you go through it. the feces. I you get, taste oh it. Oh my blood. god! <laughs> it's it's like yeah, just, well, just a little taste. <laughs> no. it's, it's well, the, the whole thing is the, 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 the red blood iron good, niacin. This is good. Bad. My uh, friend, uh, yes, a comic I know, died of meningitis years ago. Oh, that's, that's funny. Hilarious. So when you wow. know. <laughs> <laughs> You can't touch your chin to your chest because your spine swells up. So after he died, for a, forever, I thought I had meningitis. We all just tried. I'm, I'm all right. right. I'm walking around like that, you know, <laughs> so you, look, yeah. you know, and people are going, what the fuck is wrong with him? And they go, well, I guess he thinks he thinks he has meningitis, but that's what you do. So forever... Just every now and then, touch your chin to your chest, and you won't have that it. That is so stupid. Yeah. It's not stupid. It's it's what if you have meningitis, dummy? Your spine swells up. What are some yeah, of the other symptoms? Why am I going to get meningitis? Death. I think Death. I'm going to get How cancer do you know you have or ass cancer. I've always got blood. I'm going to get ass cancer. So yeah. bad. Why do you say that? I just always there's always blood, and it's too much for. I had a colonoscopy. Uh, oh, a you did? Weeks ago, because yeah. they say you should get one if in your family if you have any. Well, my uncle's an asshole. So <laughs> I don't get one. I, uh, 
<laughs> and yeah. they talk, you, you don't even feel a thing. They knock yeah. you out, you wake up, and it's all over. Yeah, here well, nowadays like they give you like fucking, uh, they give you medicine, well, you fucking go, you go to sleep, well, they the, snake it in. Yeah, but the technology has yeah. gotten better too. But you know what yeah, else? They're not using the periscopes anymore. I stayed up so oh, I, I could come. I had a camera put up. Yeah, there. but yeah. They, the cameras used to be a lot bigger. Oh, yeah, my God. I, and like everything else, like your, the cell phones, that shit. Yeah. It's like the thing that too. was in the back of Neo's head when he was in the <laughs> yeah, Matrix. exactly. You know what they use now? It's a drug that it gives you amnesia. <laughs> so you're actually, That's I think, experiencing it when it's happening. Nice. You're going through the yeah. pain. You're probably screaming a lot, <laughs> and then they give you the drug, so, and you forget everything. This way, yeah, you, this way, this way, would that be great? Yeah. It gives you amnesia. So you go, uh, I may have just colon amnesia. Colon amnesia. So this way, you could come. Why it's happening? <laughs> Never and forget yeah. about it later. Yeah, and deny everything. I had, I had, uh, I had the, the, my first uh, prostate exam like a couple of years ago. Nice. Where the doctor, I come in for a checkup, a or full a checkup, and I'm I'm don't. looking I'm looking at his sheet, and and the last checkup I had was like a checkup from in my 30s, which didn't include that. Yeah. But then your 40s checkup is different. So he's going through the list, and I'm looking over at the list, and I see like prostate. Thing and the thing is X'd off. Like, all right, that's coming up, and it's like the fucking, uh, it, it's like the encore for the doctor. He leaves it for <laughs> completely yeah. last. Yeah. And well, so where do you go after that? <laughs> yeah, I, I yeah. gotta finish strong. Yeah. He's not gonna pick up the stethoscope and know I breathe in. Always leave the first one time. more. Yeah. First time. Right. That's the big closer. That's the stairway to heaven. You know, it's not a good doctor when he finishes. He smells his finger. <laughs> and then the thing is, you, you're going out, and then it gives you the paper towels to clean up, and you clean you up. Feel so cheap. And then I'm driving yeah. home, and you're kind of squishing in your yeah. seat, yeah. and and I the know. first one especially is just. Just so invasive, it, it just you, you feel like you've been raped. You yeah, really yeah, do. Yeah. You have that kind of. Ew, I, and then I don't you, feel right and then you hope me. to hear from him. What? What? Yes, yes. <laughs> and when they call, you feel really cheap. You know. <laughs> but if you heard from him, it was going to be you have cancer. Yeah. So you kind of hope not to hear from him. But you just want him to say hi. <laughs> when he says clean up, and then you you walk out of the van and get back in your car. <laughs> no, and it should be in an office, Rich. It should be in a doctor's office. I have a doctor. Whenever he calls me with the results, he never just comes out and says it. He, he always pre prefaces a sentence like this. He goes. I mean, it's not that bad, you know. And everything is. Oh. I mean, I mean, you know, it could be worse. Oh, you don't I want mean, that. You know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you want your clean as a whistle. Everything's hunky dory. I mean, we'll keep an eye on it. You know, <laughs> yeah. But, um, but yeah, yeah. You, you're, you're a little. Low I took the first to look at that next time. We'll we'll look a little closer. Yeah. We'll keep the, first time, the first time. first time I took the, I took the, an AIDS test. Like they, uh, they I get a call from the doctor. You know, if if it's negative, they'll go over oh, the phone. Hey, no problem. Don't worry about it. So I get a call from the doctor, right? They go, this is Dr. So-and-so. I wasn't paying attention. They go, can you come in tomorrow? Uh -oh. I'm like, what the fuck? What do you mean, can I come in? And I'm like, I'm yeah, just starting to sweat. Yeah, they don't tell you over the phone for that, I'm huh? starting to fucking sweat. I go, why would you want me to come in? Why can't you just tell me over the phone? He's like, have you they go to with, Africa? And then they go. I broke up with a girl like that once. And then. <laughs> I was going to break up with a phone. She said, no, let's be in person. And, this, and then, yeah, and then I, I'm, I'm all sweaty and nervous. I go, why can't you tell me over the phone? They go. Because your tooth came in. It was one, It was a dentist. I got the wrong doctor. Uh, yes. <laughs> your tooth came in. You, you know, if you find a good dentist, they'll do both. <laughs> yes, they will. Every, every time I go for an aid system, they say that they can't tell you over the phone. That, if it's negative, they can. No, they, oh, well, I don't know what Well, then like you know there. if they tell you to come down, it's positive. So they yeah, told yeah. you over the phone. They, they yeah. always tell like me proxy. to come in, so I always freak out that I've got it, and it always comes back positive, which is a good thing. And, Positive, and positive, no, I mean, ne negative. Oh, oh yeah. shit! The jig's up there. You the just... problem, you know, the problem with the AIDS thing, it keeps coming back. You know, you get rid of it and it comes back again. <laughs> That's what <laughs> it is. I, I had an AIDS test in South Africa because they do it so quick over there, they're right? Good. They're because good. Because line between outside. shows, it's like, it's like it's like a week you have to wait over here, or two weeks or whatever you have to wait, right? In in South Africa because they got the AIDS problem, right? They do it ten minutes later, but in that ten minutes. They give you, like, this lady came and sat with me who has AIDS, because one in four people in Africa have AIDS, right? This lady came in and sat next to me, and she basically sits there going, Oh, it's not that bad. <laughs> 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 she just grabs you down, and you go, Oh, I can live with this. You look happy. All right.
But I mean, look now with the AIDS. You don't really mm. see that much. I'm sure it's still out there, but yeah. you don't hear anybody complaining about it. So no, it's not my, that bad. Magic Johnson sells it so well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he looks so healthy, man. He, he apparently away. had it and it went away. away right. and then, but then, yeah, you're not really hearing. It's not the big activism and the ribbons and the quilts and everything like that. I think it kind of a lot of those people are dying. Just they were in the way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nobody, nobody's really an activist anymore. You don't see people marching to stop the war. No, no you know, ribbons. No ribbons. No one's wearing ribbons anymore for anything. Yeah. And, it, uh, guy called Sharpton. If you. Uh, he marches for stupid stuff. Don't march for anything. Uh, I just want to tie a ribbon around the tree for some reason. You know <laughs> yeah, I mean? that old gag. Yeah, the yellow ribbon, bring everyone home kind yeah, of yeah. thing. No one wants ribbons. Or, no, I think it's not even just ribbons. Too... They're like little t pins that look like a ribbon. Yeah. You know. I tie, yeah, uh, people still get into breast cancer, don't they? They go on about that one. That one always gets a pink ribbon. The pink ribbon. The pink ribbon. Yeah, that okay. That, I one's, see still, that, that one. one's still out why there. The, why the face? You're not into the... Just, uh, Saving off the breast? I'm, I'm not anti-breast cancer. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not pro breast cancer. I just think that people go on about it a bit. Now you're going to get people texting in after, after me being so confident about beating women earlier yeah. on the show. I'm just not displaying myself so very well today. today, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. This hasn't worked out well for me. <laughs> but, you know, you, you know, you go to these stores and they have a little jar by the cashier. And I, mm. I must have put, I don't know how much change in those things. And, and they still have not found a cure for these uh, for these diseases. Yeah. Yeah. For the, yeah, the gas station convenience store <laughs> diseases. All those pennies yeah. and nothing. It's Where's like, the money like, going? The yeah. Royal McDonald House. I didn't ever finish a meal at McDonald's and, and take anything with coins away. I put it back in that. That thing's filled. No one wants change nice, anymore, really, to carry it around. No, I don't like yeah. coins. It's not worth yeah. anything. Yeah. So, yeah, and it's not worth anything anymore. So you do. You just throw it into that thing. What What will you not bend over to pick up now if you drop it on the ground? Holy it used to be a shit. penny for my me. wife. <laughs> our, our, our wife. The only thing I'll pick up I'll is a quarter. Money. You said that. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be quarter? paper money now. No, no, I'll pick up a quarter. No, no. I'll, I'll pick up a quarter. No. no. Uh, Maybe Only nine. because they're good for parking meters. Yeah, if you need one, I guess you throw in the thing. But I got, I got like a few in the cup holder in the, oh, in the yeah, truck. Oh yeah, you so don't need to pick it then up. Then you don't need more. And then they wind up just scratching the screen on my iPhone if I keep my iPhone in my pocket. <laughs> that, That's one reason I've thrown, I've thrown change away. Absolutely. I've thrown it in the garbage because I don't want to scratch the screen on my fucking <laughs> iPhone. There, there <laughs> are homeless people. Get case you can get yeah, get the nah, the case. Hook it to your belt. I tried that and then nah. I lost it at the Borgata once. He can't find he can't find his belt. In, in a black I came. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know you got a joke on the fat yeah, I'm so fat. Another fat joke. Right, right. Someone made an asinine <laughs> joke when I was uh, ill. Put it, put it in so pouch. excited about the fat jokes. I had a flu, I went to blow my nose and I went and someone snapped a picture, so like my oh, yeah, yeah. belly was sticking out, and then all I heard on Twitter was, "Look at this right, picture, Kevin? Anthony. Yeah. He's so fucking See, fat." Kevin sees it. It was like, there was a fat woman. <laughs> hey man, you can't go anywhere now with the, the cell phone cameras, you know? And yeah, I know. A pain in the ass. It's man. every fucking shot. It's, I look at stuff sometimes. I go, what? "I wasn't even there. Yeah, Where is that? That's like that's like fucking uh, Arkansas, and but, I was never in Arkansas." Yeah, and I, you know when you go out to clubs, all these girls are taking a picture with a cell phone with you. Yeah. I mean, they can yeah. put that anywhere and say you're, you're say, having. A you did anything? Yeah. I had a friend at the Laugh Factory. He's on stage. That's the joke. That's the whole... That's funny, uh, Wow, that really... I didn't, I, I didn't yeah, have yeah. anything after, so I bailed out. Sometimes you got to bail out. I wish you yeah. had yeah, you got to fucking have start to bail out. <laughs> okay, let's take 10 minutes and you can console me. <laughs> Very fucking... <laughs> Where were you going? You, you started. You, you, you left started. me. With, my eyebrows were still up in the air. No. Like, listen, oh, you laughed actually. You, you, you hit the ejector seat before you even got in the plane. I got nervous on that one. I've been going well, and I got nervous on that one. You know what? Do you see this as a sport? We, get, we, we should. Hold on. We should, <laughs> as, after that, we should take a break. You know, how are you going to follow yeah, that? We're going to regroup. Yeah. Kevin Nealon's at Caroline's. Everybody else has gotten their plugs. Kevin Nealon's got Valby. books, movies, TV <laughs> shows, <laughs> and <laughs> Caroline's. What are you promoting, John? I'm just around. I'm just around. You want to play us out with a little? Something, John Balby, Dr. Dirty. I want to we'll relive playing that uh, Steinway downstairs. Oh, yeah. I was out on a date in my daddy's car. I picked her up in a New York bar. I finger fucked her clip. She didn't let out a peep. I had my cock in her throat too deep. I was humping her face. My pecker started to spit. The doctor said the bitch had an epileptic fit. <laughs> where, oh, where can my pecker be? 
The bitch bit it right off of me. Here I stand with two balls and a stump. Please FedEx me my pecker when you take your next dump. Cha cha cha. We got Kevin Nealon in the studio, Jim yeah. Jeffries, Rich Voss. It's a full house. Uh, Brian in Rochester wants in really fast. Brian, what do you got, buddy? Um, you guys are gonna play this one John Valdi song. It's called uh, "Hey Lottie." That the uh, Anthony the racist Kenny will uh, appreciate it. Sure, what? Yeah. I, heard I heard that he, a little better, but I think yeah, he I think called it was, you fat. Yeah, he was trying to goof on me, <laughs> being the obese mess that I am. <laughs> Well, we could get some hey yeah, lotties out of him, but we get cell phone. Some, we could get some yeah. hey lotties out of John Valley. <laughs> hey lottie, lottie, lottie. Who you want to pick on? Yeah, um, well, Rich Voss would be really good. Uh, uh, really, and easy. And easy. Hey lottie, lottie, lottie. Yeah, hey lottie. I know a guy, his name's Rich Voss. Hey lottie, lottie, lottie. Eat your cock with A1 sauce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How about uh, young Sam over here? Yeah, young I Sam. know a guy, his name is Sam. Fuck, fuck Voss. He don't give a damn. Yeah. <laughs> do, uh, Call do, back. Do Fatty Rock. Fatty Rock. Who? Fat E Rock. <laughs> Fat, what the fuck is well, a fat E rock? Oh, hold on. It's like, it's it like, rhymes with cock. It's an easy one. Yeah, it's, it's, well, actually, all right, you do it. Hey, lottie, 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 lottie. Go ahead. No, I'm not doing it. Oh, oh, no, 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 I'm not doing, doing it. You said it was easy. It was easy for you. You fell apart, You fell apart. I know a guy called Big E rock. Hey, lottie, lottie. Eight fucking buses. God, I know. <laughs> really? Can you set that I'm up? I'm not a musical <laughs> genius. <laughs> hey, but fuck you and cock toxic shock. Oh! 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 Dave. Was I young know, David. Oh, I love Dave. Dave. I Dave. know a guy. His name is Dave. Hey, laddie, laddie, lo. My dick made the shot. His face made the save. Ah, <laughs> ah, you got cum in your face. Ah, you got cum in your eyes. You right that cute. How you doing, Dave? You've got cum in your wait, face. Why would the mic work? Why would it work? Is it on? Yes, uh, that uh, one's on. Wait, wait. Bring my people. Hold on, hold on. Is Kevin Neal, this is this huh? is our intern. Shut up, yeah, Kevin yeah. Neal. This is our intern, David. Just so you know, everyone knows. Everybody. Hello, Mr. Neilan. How are you? Very good, thank you. You, you know wanna... Kevin Neilan? I know who he is. I've never met him before. Well, I <laughs> assumed that. <laughs> we all know who he is, we've, and we've all never met him before. Yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> is he okay? Is, that is, private. Is, is he about to tell me that Qantas will never crash? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's uh, he's uh, David, our intern. Yeah. He's um, uh, a very hard worker. One is he a hard worker? David and Bobo no show. I don't know no. what he does. No, he doesn't work hard. No. No? No. David, why don't you show him what you're all about? Why don't you uh, ask uh, Mr. Neal a question? Yeah, interview. See, now, David, this is interesting. He was uh, uh, an intern for us. He is. Yeah. And he went to the. He was going to the Connecticut School of Broadcasting, yeah. which if you've listened to the news uh, of late, you find out that everyone from the Connecticut School of Broadcasting got a little text, I guess, that said um, the school's closed. <laughs> there is no longer a Connecticut School of Broadcasting. They packed up in wow. the middle of the night. They packed up One in the middle of, of the night. Some, some students went there, and the doors were locked. Yeah. Everything's gone. Oh, so whoa. now our, our intern... Oh, no. oh, no. That's what David does when he's upset. He goes, oh, oh, oh. David, are, are, oh no. David, are you upset that the Connecticut School of Broadcasting is, is closed? Yes, I'm very upset. I won't be able to get my uh, job placement assistance anymore. Oh, no. oh, no. oh, I'm very upset, yes. See, that's the important part of the uh, <laughs> Connecticut School of Broadcasting was getting that job placement. You went, you learned yeah. from professionals. Actually, you learned the most important thing about radio. One day you can show up yep. and they won't let you in the fucking door <laughs> and they don't know your name and you're just gone. The next oh, day, no, the next day no, 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 no. Oh, 
sir. Uh, the next day to school no. is the Baltimore Colts, and they sneak out of town. Yeah, exactly. It's kind <laughs> of the same way. <laughs> yes. So, David, what are you going to do now for your career? Because I know you want to be a broadcaster. There is a Connecticut do, School do of Modeling. Do you still have a future? Yeah, you're be I'm not going to give up just because Connecticut School of Broadcasting is gone. You no. can fix uh, car engines or be a private eye. I've seen those uh, commercials. Fix or gun, gun repair. Uh, what are the other uh, subjects? Graphic design. Graphic design. Yeah. Get you can cancer and claim. Video and games. Right. right. You, you can do all kinds of things. Why would I give Yeshiva? up? Just because the school is gone, I'm not going to give Go up. Go to the uh, American Culinary Institute. You could learn how to be I'm a saucier. I'm not going to be a chef. A chef. Go in Hell's Kitchen. Hey, hey. hey you could, there are plenty of things to do. Criminal justice system. Yeah, you too can be a I'm prison guard. Up. You'd be a great prison guard. Connecticut, well, Connecticut School you. of Prison Guards. I'm kidding. You'd be fucked in the bathroom in a second. <laughs> I'm not going to give up. By other guards. In the bathroom, you're hopeful. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think he'd make it to the bathroom. Yeah. He's, got a, he's got a really bad philosophy of not wanting to give up. Yeah. Yes, yes. He's yeah. not giving up. The sooner you he's learn that it's that, good man. to give up, the better off yeah, you'll be Yeah, just give up. Give that up. No. Your school is closed. Oh, hey. Your school's closed, so now the only real practical uh, applications you have, uh, like practical learning, is here in right, our right. school. Correct. This right. is the New York School of Broadcasting. Yes. On the job training. Right. Yes. So Kevin Nealon is here. Yes, yeah. he is. Very famous. Uh, Very we, famous we would guy. like to see your interviewing prowess with Kevin. Uh, ask him some questions. This is on the fly. This might happen to you someday. It is on the, the host fly. Could, prepare. could come down ill. Well, uh, this is what I was going to say. The host could come down ill. <laughs> All of a sudden, David, we need you. Kevin Nealon's in here. He's got some things. Here's a Nealon one things. sheet. Give him the Nealon one sheet. I'll real give him quick. my sheet. Don't, if don't I give him the Nealon. No, no, don't give him the Nealon. I was no, going to no, say, no, if no, I catch him reading this, I'm going to kill him. No, don't even give him the sheet. I just yeah. want it for the plugs. Sometimes yeah, you don't even know these guys. If I can't read it, give it to me, yeah. I forgot the one sheet then. All right, yeah, You got it now. I don't think David needs it. Off the cuff. I don't need that one sheet. You should research, then. David seems very confident. The host is sick. They brought you in. It's now on the air in three, two, one. Come closer. All right. So, uh, Mr. Kevin Nealon, have you ever been contacted by uh, Saturday Night Live to host the sh to be a host? That's a good question, David. I'm glad <laughs> you asked so, me that. And if so, would you accept and host? Uh, yes, I would if they called me. You haven't hosted and been back since I have you not. were on the show? No, I have not. Uh, I'm not allowed back in the building. <laughs> You're not allowed? Why aren't you allowed? Oh, uh, the re re police referred to it as an incident that happened. Oh. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, unpleasant. Can you elaborate on this? What, in, what was this That's incident? a good follow-up question, by the way, David. <laughs> Thank you. It's an incident that is uh, still in the courts, so I can't talk about it right now. Oh, but that okay. Very good, very good follow-up question. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is there a part B to that follow-up question? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have, a, I have oh. a different question in mind, Sim, related to sure. Saturday Night Live, but sure, yeah. different. You on Saturday Night Live were the lead anchor uh, for a time for a weekend update. I have no recollection of that. Have you, well, you were weekend update. Oh, that's right. Okay, I know what you're talking about now. Yeah, yeah the anchor for weekend update. Right. If you weren't in, in this business like comedy or performing or acting, would you ever consider like getting into like news or being like a news reporter since you did some news on uh, Saturday Night Live? played Nevada. one on a comedy show? Well, you know, that's a very good question. <laughs> <laughs> I might, you, you... <laughs> I might consider that. Yeah, if, uh, you know, I mean, I would consider anything. If it's I mean, a you have news job. experience. You did. You, you were a host of Weekend Update. Yeah, and basically, they're, they're basically they're they're readers, yeah. they're news readers. And, right. um, so you know, you really have to have a background in news to do that. So uh, yeah, I would read the news. But you have to have a background in, like journalism, like reporting and stuff, don't you? Not necessarily. No. Yeah, that was a bad question. Oh. <laughs> That's a good question. That's a good question. Oh. No, that was good. But uh, I think I would be more of a. Uh, I maybe get into advertising. But in terms of the, I want to get back to that weekend update because I want to know like. Good follow up. Did you have to like prepare the like? Did you yourself write the jokes for weekend update, or did you have like writers writing for you, or did you come up with the material? Um, well, at that point, um, my first year doing the weekend update, nobody really wanted to write for a weekend update because it was not a glorifying job. You know, you nobody would talk around the water cooler on Monday. Oh, did you hear that? You know, Bush joke or that Clinton joke. Mm -hmm. So the, the uh, newer writers would come up, and they would try to get the writers to come up to the 17th floor on Saturday morning. They put out like uh, a breakfast spread. You know, they would have it catered, a nice breakfast, and they put all the newspapers on the table. You know, and oh, AP photos, and yeah. and uh, nobody would come up except for the new writers. And then Al Franco would come up because he was a, a political junkie. But and then somebody else might come up just to read the paper and have breakfast. So I had to write yeah I, uh, some of the jokes I wrote, and then I hired like uh, friends that would fax me in jokes, and I paid them fifty dollars a joke. 
Wow. Wow, that's a good one, yeah. That was a good answer. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good answer. Wow, that's a good one. <laughs> He's surprised at the answer. So you said Al Franken was writing some of your jokes for a weekend update? Oh, yeah, yeah. Al was a good writer. Are you still keep in touch with Al Franken? I do. What do you think about his whole deal in uh, Minnesota? Like, whatever happened with him? Is he, like, with his trying to be a uh, senator from Minnesota or whatever state he's in? Uh, yeah, Minnesota is probably a good city to be uh, a senator from. But he, um... He he Jeffries is just pondering. He's just <laughs> like, what's like, going on about No, that? that's a good question. No, I think a lot of people are. I think, well, that's a good thing. A lot of people don't know. He doesn't even know if he's won or not. But he's he still not against, decided? No, he was running against wow. Norm Coleman, but I think he's up by 33 votes. And maybe by the end of uh, his term, he will <laughs> yeah. realize that he won. <laughs> hey, he's lucky. But he's a good an honest, joke writer. If I could ask you an honest question, if you uh -huh. were a, if you were a resident of Minnesota, would you vote for Al Franken? Yes, well, I would. You would? Yeah, yeah. Have he's, the he's, previous he's, questions been dishonest? <laughs> no. I just had because no, the way you prefaced no. that one. Yeah. You should no. not be an intern. You should be a full uh, paid employee here. Yeah. Why? Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Good answer. Is, is that is that? Well, you got to get the plug in for where he's going to be. Well, I, don't have that, I don't have that paper in my hand. Anything else you want to ask him? Well, you could add, you know, no, wrap just up. Just ask him where he's going to be. Yeah, ask okay. me what I'm doing in New York. All right, I'll ask that. What are you do? What are you doing here in New York? <laughs> oh, that's a good question. I am, uh, I am working at Caroline's Comedy Club on Broadway uh, tonight and tomorrow night. Oh, Friday and good. Saturday, two shows. Yeah, you gonna be I did, there? I did have another question for oh, you. Wow! Well, all right, all right well, this is unrelated. But what is it? What is it like to be to work with Eddie Murphy? Because you worked with Eddie Murphy on Daddy Daycare, didn't you? I did. What I was did. it like working with Eddie Murphy? You had a small role in that movie. <laughs> it was. Well, you had uh, a role. <laughs> thank you. Jesus, you, put, you were Eddie Murphy's boss, weren't you? I believe I was. I don't think he yeah. likes to hear that it was a small role. No, 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 no. You I, had a I, uh, uh, favor role where they gave you, a, you know, as a favor to you, <laughs> favor, uh, just yeah. threw you in the movie. <laughs> it was a. It was not a small role. It was a tiny role. <laughs> Oh, okay. What's what's it like working with Eddie Murphy? Uh, it's you know what I I didn't really know him that well until that movie. Still don't know him that well, but he was very nice. He was uh, very uh, complimentary. He was uh, funny, and um, it was exciting. What about Jeff Garland? Funny, yeah, funny question. Uh, Jeff Garland, I've known for a long time, and he's uh, he's always got stories about something. You know, you if mention you, one word, he's got a story about it. If you want to uh, get his, uh, the way he felt. Mm -hmm. uh, working with Eddie Murphy and the way he just described it. Think the exact opposite of this interview. Funny, <laughs> exciting, words oh. like that. Oh. 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 I thought he did a good job, I you thought... fat bastard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, this, is, this is a on-the-spot interview. I didn't prepare one question. It's on the spot. Hey. Am I going to take no. that? Don't get all Chris Brown David. on us now. David, uh -uh. ask him about no, I Weeds. Think I think he's loosening up oh, a lot. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. That's a good point, yeah. Well, weeds is a very popular Area. show. Yeah. I didn't think about that. I didn't prepare anything. Does Eddie so Murphy like These weeds? are just what came to my mind. <laughs> you didn't ask him anything about Weeds. Can no, you? I didn't. It didn't Give come to my mind. Give him a question about Weeds. Preoccupied all with right. Weekend Update for some reason. Do you watch Weeds? No, I don't watch Weeds. Right. Unfortunately, that's I don't right. have Showtime, so I can't watch Weeds. Who doesn't have Showtime? Me. You can get it at the video store, the, the oh, box yeah. sets for the first yes. season. Yeah. So okay, so I may ask about weeds. If we're going to get a little too, if we're going to get technical here, what is like? How does it work in terms of the actual like smoking weed? Like, do, what are, exactly are you guys like smoking on the set? Like, is it fake weed? Well, like, what exactly is it? Obviously, you have not seen the show because no, no I have not. There's no smoking on the set. There's no smoking on the no, show. No, no. no. Inject give me another weeds question. All right. Uh, Wait, Dave, why don't you ask, ask him, go, well, that doesn't make sense. The show's called Weeds, and you're not smoking weed. Yeah, the show is called Weeds, and you're not smoking weed. What are you doing? <laughs> you're, trying to, you're trying to buy... Do you, like, do you grow, on the show, do you, grow, do you grow weed in your house on the show? Well, if, your you've character. See, if you've seen the show, you'd realize that when they say weeds, it's not about the uh, substance. Right. I thought it was the about actual, the drug. You trying no, to like get drugs? No, it's the actual the grass. It's the the weeds that grow in the grass. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah. I thought it was you trying to smuggle in drugs. No, 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 no. He works for Lawn Doctor. Obviously, David, you're not prepared for aren't these questions. Like the, aren't you like the? Aren't you the, the like the mayor of the of the city in the in the, in the show? Mm, no, that's Spin City. <laughs> I thought you were the mayor of the town. Or a councilman or something? Like councilman or. <laughs> no, no, you're, you're not the thinking of, of the town? You're thinking of Andy Griffith. No. Andy Griffith? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, David. But no, one more, one more weeds question, because yeah, I might have on. an answer for this yeah. next one. Uh, well, honestly, I don't Come really on. know much about this show. I've never seen it before. Well, oh, we, that's a good we question. We take it all the time, guys. That's a good uh, question. What's it, uh. 
Fake it. You're married to Mary Louise Parker's character in Weeds? Absolutely false. No? I don't know. <laughs> You've not done your research, apparently. Uh, <laughs> no, as we said, this is not, I didn't do any research, no. No. All right, I'll answer really? all three of those questions in one, one answer. Uh, it's a uh, fake grass that we smoke. It's honey rose herb. Okay. And I am the city council member. Okay. Or I used to be, but now we're on season five, so that was a long time ago. Okay. And the third question was what? Are you married to Mary Louise Parker's character? Uh, Louise no. Parker's. No. Are you, no. Are you married no. Louise Parker? What is your relationship no to her married. character? I'm her accountant, and I help her launder her drug money, and I help run uh, her operation. Yeah. And you're trying. Where exactly are you trying to get all these? Where do these drugs come from on the show? Like from another country? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, in this past season, they, they come from Mexico. Mexico. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. is there? Is there so any, uh, drugs. Do you ever? Does your character ever have to go to Mexico? <laughs> do you actually, do you actually scenes of you in Mexico on the show? Not, not my character, no. Other but characters I, on the but show. But I have been to Mexico myself. Yeah, but not for the show. Uh, no, it wasn't for the show. Uh, other characters are. It was in for a different show. Yeah. Yeah, but right. some of the other characters go to Mexico through a tunnel. A tunnel. Oh. See, now you want to watch, right? Yeah. If I had a showtime, I'd watch. Well, yes. you can go to the video store and get the first three. Uh, Season. I would. Four seasons. Seasons one through three are on DVD already? Yeah. You yeah. have a DVD player, Dave? Yes, I have that. <laughs> All right. Cool. And I think you'll get addicted to the show. I think so, too. It sounds like a really great if show. I know, if I know, if this is the David I think I know, <laughs> I, think be addicted. I think it is. <laughs> what you see is pretty much what you get. Is that on Blu-ray? Is it available on Blu-ray? David. I believe it is. Yes, yes I it believe be. it is. Wrap up the interview and then make sure people know where they can see it. Okay. Well, this has been a great interview, and just so you guys know, <laughs> just so you guys know, this is Kevin Elin. You can see him at uh, Caroline's Comedy Club this weekend. Yes, and this weekend, don't miss it. And you can also see him on Weeds on Showtime. And uh, uh, I'm not sure when she, when uh, your show. When does your show air? What days? Uh, it'll be coming up in um, <laughs> August, probably end of July. Yeah. Okay, so your show will be coming up in August. In the, in the end of July or August, yeah. That'll be season five? Season five. Okay, that'll be season five. And also, guys, make sure to pick up a copy of Daddy Daycare with Kevin Nealon in it. <laughs> 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 were, those, were, those, were those real muscles on the Hans and Franz uh, bit? <laughs> <laughs> Was that you or your real muscles? <laughs> uh, yeah, those were real. Those were real. And those were real horses? You were, you were real camels you were riding? That's right. <laughs> That's right. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh, it's yeah. David every day. Oh, if you could pick, okay. if you could pick oh, one character. Oh, here we go. He doesn't stop. <laughs> right, right, That's the problem. Right, 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 I have one final question. This is the problem. Right, wait, 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 if yeah. you could pick one character out yeah. of all the characters that you played on Saturday Night Live, what was your favorite character to play out of all the characters you played and why? Not a uh, church question. lady. Because <laughs> <laughs> I got to wear a dress. The, ca the character where you got to wear a dress? Yeah, church lady. Yeah, church lady. Church lady. Oh, and why was that your favorite character? Because I got to wear a dress. <laughs> oh, so you like, you like pretend, uh, acting as women? Just uh, you like performing ladies. being women now, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, David. David, everyone. Yeah, that's, good that's job, uh, good, David. Hey, thank uh, you, David. Go back to whatever the fuck you do at this place. All right, you're welcome. Let's get someone coffee and a sandwich or whatever oh, you do. Oh, my God. He's, yeah. he's an excellent driver. Uh, nice kid. He, he, nice he's, kid. <laughs> he's a nice kid. I'm telling you, I've learned this. Uh, you got to be careful with uh, who you, the younger people you deal with because they will eventually be employing you. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he I've will definitely that. be somebody's boss. We don't boss. have to worry about that with him, though. Yeah, no, <laughs> well, I'm, I'm just <laughs> thinking he will be at some point. I, 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 my, my nightmare is walking into a radio is, is company. Is he always at Nervy? Um, yeah, oh, yeah. He's, yeah. He's, yeah. He's, but he's have like, you guys experienced that? Probably, maybe not in the radio. We actually have. There's yeah. an, an old intern that oh, yeah. kind of runs the show. Like our now. boss now. Yeah. An yeah, and he was an intern coffee. from another show that we used to just, you know, uh -huh, intern. Ah, uh, stupid intern. And now he's yeah. a suit. <laughs> I know. Like, That's why. I, man. I never mess around with those now guys. Now he's yeah. a senior, I don't know, programmer what, or what something. What happened? Yeah, John, you like uh, David? Uh, absolutely wonderful. What do you mean? What, what do you want me to do here? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell do you want me to say? <laughs> I was just trying to have a little human oh, in interaction human with him. You just saw intern David. But what does David do? He makes uh, everybody he does uncomfortable. That. He does, yeah, he, does he pretty that. much does that. Did you just see the awesome fucking interview you just did? <laughs> That's what he does. He kind well, of did a better job that. with he you doesn't. than we did. He, 
He gets coffee for people, I think. No, he doesn't even do that. I think he just, like, gets the fact. Not What does he do? Facebook. That's it. And interns don't get paid. Yeah, he does Yeah, Facebook. he just comes in he and fucks Facebook. with his Facebook account all day and tries to pick up girls. Yeah. Can you hire an intern... Not even hire, but use an intern at home. Like personal life. How cool would that be? Yeah. Just like do my laundry. You f yeah, do my as laundry. an assistant. Yeah, just a personal you know, assistant. Go run down and get get, get some paper for me. I guess you without could. Connecticut School of Broadcasting, I think he might need that. Why is David back? Yeah. He's not going to give up. He's not going to give up. David. Yes. What do you do here? Because no one knows. Oh, uh, I'm an intern. I uh, get people's food uh, and get people's easy. coffee all the time <laughs> and go run errands for people if they need something to pick yeah. up. I go get it. I uh, print feedbacks and hand it in. I scan, do old old paperwork that a certain person messed up, and I have to fix that all. I work on that. And don't forget, he looks at bikini pictures on Facebook and masturbates in the yes. back office. Yes. yes. David, how, how many hours? David, tell uh, Kevin Nealon about the boner you popped recently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Be honest. You know. All right, if Kevin Nealon wants to know. Okay. <laughs> of course Kevin Nealon wants to know. <laughs> tell him the story really fast. <laughs> Just tell him real fast. Uh, it was a uh, Monday. I was sitting in the office at the what time? Uh, <laughs> 7.34 a.m. All right. <laughs> He's probably accurate with that, too. So, 7.34 a.m., we were in the back office over at, over at CBS, and I was on Facebook, and we were looking at some girl with a bikini, and I was just observing it and looking at it, and I... What time is it now? It's 7.34. Okay, so within a minute. Within yeah, a minute. yeah, it, 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 it appeared pretty, yeah, it was pretty quick. Yes. It and then what happened? It works fast. I was enjoying myself and proceeded to get a boner. <laughs> <laughs> looking at looking at the picture. And, and is is that where it ended or did no? It it's get... not where it ended. Okay. No. okay, okay. <laughs> and, uh, easy, easy, Jim. And some other some uh, other. Uh, o and A colleagues were watching me. They were standing behind. They were watching and uh, noticed that I had a boner. My hand, my hand was in my pocket, and they noticed. So they noticed what I was. Little pocket pool, huh? Yes, a little pocket pool. And they noticed, <laughs> and uh, proceeded to uh, get a uh, camera out and to try to take a picture of, of said boner. I said boner and my hand in my pocket to right. so move towards the right. boner. Yes. By the way, that is that is nothing to be ashamed of. No. <laughs> and incidentally, what is that Facebook address? <laughs> yeah, the uh, bikini uh, girl. And uh, I, but as you just say, I was ashamed. You said don't be ashamed, but I was ashamed. Oh and no. I have a oh. We, I all, we all go yes, through no these emotions yeah. when we're young. No. no yes, nothing. but it wasn't just it wasn't that I was young and I was. Is that I was ashamed that I was getting at doing that in the workplace? Oh, I always. Oh. Everybody oh. did that in the workplace. I do it in the workplace. Oh. I remember when I drove a school bus. Oh shit! I, it's called stage. It's called a work jerk. Yeah, yeah. You do a work jerk. It depends on your job. If you, you know, and where you are. I used yeah. to wank in the toilet at my job. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah work jerk. Yeah. You got to relax a little. Yeah, a little on the job. Yeah, David, do you have a girlfriend? No. He's, Why? Uh, I'm single. No. He's single. He's you playing the field. That Facebook girl, man. The cemetery. That oh. you already <laughs> like her. You're halfway into well, a Jim, relationship. Jim Jeffries, there was a problem there too because he was yep. flirting with a married woman. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> no. On Facebook. Uh, Who had a couple uh, kids. Uh, he's on Facebook <laughs> spilling all the beans uh, with this married woman, yeah. and then the husband got called up and. Is there anyone here that shit. you're interested in? He's besides yeah. Jeff. David, look around. Besides Any, what? Any girls? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's the, he's the uh, Any girls you're interested in uh, that came in today? Anything? Uh, I don't know. I'd have to observe them. Or come on. Know. You've observed them. What do you mean observe them? <laughs> come on. Until, binocular. Yeah, until the fucking... Uh, it's like a fish tank of chicks, mate. Just have a look. Yeah. yeah. There is, but there's really not any that are... Look not. at that cute intern right there with the hat. Yes, I'm not allowed within She's 20 intern, yards of her. No, an intern, too. No, She's cute. We're talking about the guests. We're talking no. about anybody. Any girl out there. Any girl in the room. Mm. Oh, oh, boy, don't be ashamed. Any yeah, girl. whatever yeah, you mean. That's you like, true. You like any of the girls out there, David? Yeah, no. No, in the corner, where? What about Stalker Patty? Oh, Stalker Patty, of course. I'm always interested in her. Yeah? No, no you're not. No. You want to bring her in for Kevin Neal? Yeah, where's Patty? Okay, sure. Patty's yeah. probably a big fan, Look at him too. With him. Gonna love, it's like a young love Stalker Patty. Patty. She used to stalk us. She's the kind of cat here. A married she, woman would leave her husband. This woman's been stalking us for <laughs> over ten years. Kevin Nealon at uh, Caroline's. Yeah. I've managed weekend, to avoid yes. stalkers all well, my career. Lucky. Oh, this uh, uh, this uh, one's great. Uh, this is stalker Patty. For real. Uh, we've known her uh, for about uh, ten years. She is now fifty. What? 
54 in June. She's, she'll be 54 in June. Wait. She is a virgin. She has never known the pleasure <laughs> of Nothing a man. Nothing to be ashamed of. Fuck off. 54. No, Fuck no off. Jim, Jim, Jim. No, I don't believe that she's lying to you. No, she's Jim. Not. no Jim. I kid you not. It's as tight as a nickel. I'll give it to you just to put you out of your oh. misery. <laughs> it, it, wait. I don't know if that would be the solution. But, Patty, what have we done to your uh, vagina, even though you're a virgin? Tell Kevin. He likes oh. this stuff. <laughs> I was playing ball with Jimmy. <laughs> what? Yes. what? I guess I was playing ball with Jimmy. <laughs> Is it true that you got uh, some fingers in your hiney? <laughs> well, Jimmy, uh, I'm pen embarrassed. Jimmy penetrated you a little bit, right? With his finger? With his fingies? His little Ooh. Jimmy Norton fingers? Yeah. <laughs> yes. I feel like saying, show us on the doll where he touched you. <laughs> this is so fucking, like, wrong. Just, I think we're losing Kevin on Let this Let me one. just ask you this. How, Kevin was with the, the David bit, but... Has the stalking stopped? I don't know. No, she's here all the time. we invite our stalkers <laughs> no. to, like, live among us. Oh. We're stupid. Yeah, maybe it's our fault. Yeah. Good plan. You're supposed to, like... <laughs> Yeah, you're supposed to get a restraining order and all kinds of documentation. We invite yeah. them in. It's Kevin, so hard when you get Kevin, not close. only did we yeah. invite her to live closer to us, she she became homeless, and she took up residence at the radio station under the stairs. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. I only spent a couple nights there when I didn't have anywhere else to go for a couple days. Then you until hoard I yourself out. out. Yeah. Her, yeah. <laughs> It's tough to stalk when you don't have a home base. Yeah. Yeah. Right? No, I'm yeah. fine now. You need to have somewhere to bring back your pictures and your magazine clippings to put up on the wall. Yeah, yeah. You're, to build your shrine yeah. to that person. You want to ask Kevin Neal on anything? He's a big star. You know Kevin, right? We don't get stars um, like this. You know what? He's, he's on Daddy Daycare. Yeah. <laughs> to tell you the truth, you're a relatively new comedian to me. I never really knew you. Well, join the crowd. I've been doing it for about a year. <laughs> I'm yeah, he's, a, just being he's new at this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So you never watched uh, SNL? You never watched? You uh, know what? No, none of the I blooper did hear commercial there, shows? There were guests on or somebody that I know or a band or something, but I'm not really? a regular watcher of Saturday Night Live. But you know Colin Quinn. Of course I do. <laughs> yeah, well, of course you do. Oh, well, that's why Kevin wants to hear. I was really into that. I enjoyed the show. David's just rolling in the I corner. Yes. <laughs> What's wrong, David? Nothing. I was just really, I was just really wrong. She's not. <laughs> She's not a pro like Why you. Why was that wrong, dude? She knows Colin Quinn. She doesn't know Kevin. You know, that's, that's a hurtful to Kevin. <laughs> I am so hurt by that. So what do you watch? Yeah. yeah. Me? Well, I like all like shows like 48 Hours and True TV. I'm on True I'm TV. I'm really into yeah. that game mm -hmm. show that comes on in the afternoons with the suitcases. Uh, what uh, deal? Yeah. Yeah. deal or no deal? No, my deal husband's or no leaving. Deal. I'm really into that. I wish I could be on that show. Oh, really? That would be awesome to be on that show if they come to As New one of York. the models that have the... Uh... <laughs> no, but I enjoy that show. Yeah, that's I'm really a fun into show. It. It's good because you don't have to be smart to play it. Anyone can do it. <laughs> yeah. 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 You could have a completely retarded person playing that show and they've got a much fun Fucking chances anyway. Yeah, else. that is It'd true. be like we've got the million dollars to play. We've got the one fucking cent in play, and we offer you an ice cream. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the thing is, some of those people get too greedy, and then one lady ended up with only a dollar in her case or something uh, because she thought she got the million dollars. What was it? What was so in the case? Citadel the stock. Wait till the end of the sh like, uh, just the roll end. over my line. But <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> fuck yourself. Yeah. I will correct you with something. That you do have to be smart to be on that show. Mm. Because yeah. you you don't want to be picking the same suitcase that you picked earlier. Yeah, that's, that's a oh, big number. Wow, that would be stupid. Seven yeah. again. <laughs> oh, five hundred thousand dollars! I missed it again. I know, but it's not something I would go for. I would just wait until like uh, play it with strategy. You know, like, what strategy? There's yeah, no what strategy. kind of strategy? Well, it's it luck. depends. Yeah. Some of these, it's random. yeah, some of these people will get very greedy and just take it to the end, and they think they have it. One lady had such a tiny amount in her case, and that's what she. How many dogs so, are craning their necks right now from so, that voice? So your strategy. <laughs> Is is make money? Well, yeah. Then towards the end, if then take one of the deals, you know, not take for granted that what's in your case is going to be the case. What's in it your most case? <laughs> what's in your case? Yeah. David, comments. That's a good show. I like Deal or No Deal. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good show. I watch it. I'm a fan right. of Howie Mandel. He's funny. Yeah, Patty. Yeah. So what do you got for Kevin Neal? <laughs> yeah, that's right. You're, you're for smart. Help. <laughs> uh -huh. Ask Kevin something. Sorry. Okay, um, 
When is your series going to start at oh, the end of July? Wow. What we channel is it? I asked him. We talked about that. <laughs> there are no time. Like, oh, that one. Yeah. Fifth season. What channel is it? That's Showtime. Showtime. Showtime? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Where did the drugs come from? I didn't get it the first time. <laughs> 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 David just laughs in the corner. It's don't you want to ask that question already? I know, but I know. David, I'm not good at it. As you watch Patty, don't you understand? As you laugh at Patty, don't you understand that's exactly how we felt when you were up there? I'm kidding, David. They look like brother and sister. How many interns yeah. do you have? And can yeah. Patty be an intern? Uh, and husband and wife, I'm sitting. Patty, <laughs> Patty <laughs> Kevin, has a great story. She works at Starbucks, and, and how, many days of, how many hours of vacation have you built up after five years? Uh, I don't know. I usually get like a couple of minutes for every so much time, whatever. <laughs> minutes. I'm We're up talking to three vacation hours time. Now. Minutes. Yeah. She's up to three hours vacation she, time. She measures the hours in grande in minutes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. no, I've heard they're very good to their employees, and they have. Good they are. Uh, they are no, very. Good. You have three hours of vacation time. Um, Where can you I go? It, you can't it, get it, off the island in three well, hours. Oh, right. hours. Well, if I didn't get enough hours one week, I use it for that, and then just save them up for that. But what about taking a vacation? You can't. Well, no, I don't take vacations. What, what are you up to? Because we haven't asked in a while. How many? About three and a half now. Oh, three, three and a half, and half, and half hours. hours. Not days hours. or weeks. Three and a half hours. Kevin. A traffic jam and your whole vac vacation is <laughs> fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to the Borgata. Rich, she's built <laughs> up three and a half, half hours of vacation. She bets something on the fucking lucky wheel, puts a buck down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got to go. <laughs> that was great. Here's me spinning the wheel. Here's me losing. Here's me running for the jitney. If you can't. <laughs> I'm going to do a whole taping of Deal or No Deal. I've never been to the Borgata. No. <laughs> right. I would love yeah, to see it one day. Uh, let me tell you something. You God bless her. She's got a job in this economy. No. <laughs> That's true. Yes, she does have a job. She works at Starbucks. She's not, not out there looking for handouts. Okay. Well, we give her enough. Trust and what's me. Big Kev doing here? I didn't know Kevin Nealon had an action figure to sign. <laughs> oh. Big Kev. I'm there. just having with you, Kev. Kev. How, how you been? Good. good. How are you guys? Very good. good. What are you doing? Anybody coming in that we should hang around for on uh, Rock no, or something? No, no, no. No, you just like stop by? Just uh, happen to be in the area. Oh, okay. All right. Because he usually, he's very sneaky, especially with Ron and Fez guests. You'll leave and then you'll realize like some fucking cool like action yeah. hero star is coming in and Nope, Nothing? No, no sneak at all. All no. right. Hey, Patty, we got John Valby, and I know Patty has a very good singing voice. Ron and, uh, Ron and Fez oh, exploit that. Yes. We exploit her awfulness, and Ron Fez exploit her talent. You want to sing, um, wanna sing a little something? If Valby see. could maybe... Uh, do you know uh, White Rabbit from... Um, well, well, do you have another one? What songs? Well, she knows a lot of Beatles songs, too, right? That's yeah, true. I have some What do you want to sing, Patty? Let's see what you got. Oh, God. Who do I, what do I know? Oh, How about yesterday? Someone's phone's going Yesterday. <laughs> yesterday. Love. Love was. Oh, 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 it's got. It's like I love Lucy trying to get one of Ricky's shows. <laughs> now I need a place to hang. Love was such an easy game to play. Now I need a place to hide away. Oh, I believe in yesterday. Suddenly. <laughs> I'm not half the man I used to be. There's a shadow hanging over me. Oh, yesterday came suddenly. Suddenly. <laughs> wow. Voice like an angel. Kim Jeffries was rocking out to Patty. I was, yeah. I was fucking giving power fish, man. This is a, this is a love match. Away, yeah. Yeah. Le leprosy. <laughs> All my skin is falling off of me. <laughs> I'm not half the man I used to be. Oh, I believe in leprosy. It reminds me of a movie I saw leprosy. last night. <laughs> Syphilis. <laughs> it just started with a simple kiss. <laughs> now it even hurts to take a piss. <laughs> uh, enough of that. <laughs> Come on, John. Well, it's hard to follow, Patty. It is. Oh, it is. <laughs> How about yeah. Obama and Biden? Obama and Biden. This country's asshole is about to widen. <laughs> they say we're never going back, man. Once you've been fucked by a black man. <laughs> How about Biden and Obama? Biden and Obama. 
keep your word. Now go and kill Osama. The White House has started smelling like KFC. And oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 wow. Even as an Australian, I That's, found that racist. Uh, Welcome to the Racist Network. Wait a minute. I know a guy. I mean, I know a girl. Her name is Patty. Hey, hey, laddie, 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 She's so hard up. She's doing an Australian who lives in Cincinnati. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Showed you, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> you remember the Cincinnati bit? That's yes. a long callback. That's yeah. a long time ago. Yeah. I didn't even remember that. I had to check uh, myself. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. So who'll be coming back next week, Dave or Patty? It's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> like a reality show. Oh, fucking uh, so the elimination funny. round. What? Just so fucking Neil and rules. Never. Fucking Kevin Neal and rules. God damn. <laughs> Caroline's this weekend. I might have there to fucking go. go tonight and uh, check out Kevin yeah. Yeah. It's actually so. my gig to go to... Uh, your gigs this weekend. What is your gig? Well, it's nothing. It doesn't, yeah. It's in, in, in Scranton. Oh, there. No, I'm at, 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 at the uh, Cinema Draft House, March 20th and 21st. What the fuck is that? A movie it's, theater? It's a, a theater. beer place? It's a, a theater. Yeah. It's, draft it's a good house? payday. Shut up, stupid. Uh, uh, it's in Arlington, Virginia. It's a, it's like a draft house. It's like a theater where they either do shows or, or movies or, or whatever. Oh, and, okay. and Jeff, and, you're, you're at the you? town hall? What? What? You're at the town hall. I, 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 no, I'm at uh, the Scoble um, Theatre Centre uh, at uh, NYU. Uh, free tickets. The email Jim Jeffries at BroadwayVideo.com, and they'll send you free tickets. David, free. how much are the tickets? They're free. Good job. He <laughs> <laughs> was, was paying attention. I like that. Oh, I'm going to be how much, are the, how much are the tickets? the tickets? I'm on a mailing list, and they send me stuff like that all the time, so I accept it this time, so I'm going to be there to see you. And how much are the tickets? Oh, thank you. Free. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing you. Is, is, that for the, uh, is that for the HBO thing? Yeah, it's for the taping. It's right. right. Do they always it, put you way in the back? No, I just wherever. <laughs> that Carnegie Hall. Last time I was in the middle. Well, yeah. I, I, I hope he will be there. You can sit with him. Never those tables. <laughs> right <up. laughs> you rule. You, I'll get you back. You are never at the tables right up front, are you? No, no. Why would yeah. I be? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> just saying. Did I call you Jim or Jeff? That's right, Jim Jeffries. Uh, Jeff. But I called you Jeff, didn't it's I? Right. It's like Jeff Jeffries. It's like we've been hanging for a while, and you call me by my second name, and then you have abbreviated it down like we're close. I like that. No, people call me Neil a lot. Oh, right. Really? Cause, yeah, because it's my last name, and they forgot my first name. Ah. Uh, yeah. Kevin good Neil, good story. So it's a uh, <laughs> good one. That's a, that's a good way to close on. David, yeah. any uh, follow-up to that story? <laughs> that was very funny. That was very funny. <laughs> <laughs> hey, David, where's Bobo today? Yeah, I know. He's not here. I, uh -oh. I'm upset. But no David and Bobo show nope, today, huh? No, nope. no. Wow. Wow, well, I, I almost hear a cheer yeah. from outside the window. No kidding. I heard it, too. That's no, a David and Bobo show. Hey, when you don't know somebody's name, do you take a stab at it, or do you just not call them by their name? Don't even I say don't a word. Or do you mispronounce it? Or I don't hey. try. I go like this, like, like if, I, if I know someone's name, I don't know their name, I go, oh, what's your name? And then they tell me their first name, and they go, like, it's, like, uh, they go, it's Anthony. I go... I know it's fucking Anthony, yeah, yeah. but what's yeah. your surname? Oh, yeah. that's a goddamn, that's, that's a good, good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course what? it's Anthony. I mean, what's your buddy? If you're with you someone, it's you easy go. because then you can pawn it off on being rude. I've done that before, oh, yeah. and then uh, the uh, the person will introduce themselves, and the second they say yeah. their name, it's like, yeah, no, Jim, Jim. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I go, I'm other. sorry. Oh God, I, I'm so I'm yeah. so rude. I'm an idiot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this is. I'll go. You guys introduce yourselves. That's how you that is a show. sure fire. I don't know. No, that's not as no, good a that, cover. No, that's lame. Here's a mistake I make. I, oh, here's, here's what I got to stop sorry. doing. I come up to somebody and I think I know their name, mm. and like if it's if I think it's Vincent or something, I'll come and say, "Hey, man, how's it going? What's going on, man? Uh, you know, just uh, kind of yeah, barely yeah. say it." And then, but that doesn't help you. It doesn't. Like, look, get the name. No, yeah. it doesn't. But at least they think I, I, I knew their name, and they yeah. just didn't hear it. I, I, my, my favorite is when fans come up, and they'll be like, hey, you don't remember me, do you? <laughs> you don't, you yeah, don't know yeah, my name. Yeah, and it's yeah. like, you know, what then? And they yeah. go, no, I remember yeah, yeah, the, sure. the club or something. Thing, yeah. And I don't know why I lie. I should just go, yeah, I don't fucking I remember know. you. But I go, no, no, I remember. Oh, yeah, what's my name? Oh. And I'm like, now you're pushing it. Okay, I don't fucking know who you are. Yeah, you're, yeah, yeah. You're, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're David. You used to intern for us ten years ago, yeah. and now you're my boss. <laughs> Shit. <Yeah. laughs> Whoa! Oh! 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 
Here's what people call me a lot of times. Hey, boss, what's up? Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, boss. Hey, pal. It, that confuses me because I start thinking, wait a minute, do I own a company? Yeah, is this guy my employee? And why, is, why is he standing around chatting? Why is he working? Guy? <laughs> in the north of England, they do that a lot. They call people boss. boss? Yeah. In Scotland, they're big on that. Uh, they go, hey, big man. Big man. Hey, big man. Hey, big mm. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like big man. It's a bit patronizing, isn't it? How do yes. they know? A lot of, How do they know? Well, because you're really tall. You? Oh, oh tall. Big. <laughs> hey, big man. A lot of foreigners go, boss. Hey, boss. Can boss? I help you, boy? And I think they're calling me the my last boss? name. I think they're going, boss. I go, How the fuck's this guy know my name? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, it's kind well, of creepy. That would be asshole. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nothing. Whoa. Please hold. <laughs> Always willing to throw a car crash out for me. <laughs> hey, Chief. Hey, Chap. All right, we're your right, pal. Don't call me pal, friend. Hey, I'm buddy. not your buddy. We should right. wrap up this right, mess. Right, we did a lot today. That yeah, was fun. We, today. A lot of we, fun. we got a line of the day today. We haven't had the. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. reminisce for one minute. Yeah, yeah let's just think about it for a uh, second. We had David come out. Those days over. David's in Patty the Stalker. Remember that? Yeah, that was awesome. God, that was that great. Was good. <laughs> and we talked like about Bonnie <laughs> and you guys working on the road together. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you yeah, the nice cell phone discussion. camera with the God, fat. remember that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I remember you just walking through the door. It seems like three moments ago. We teased Anthony for being fat. Fat. Yeah, right. John with the songs. John with the songs. John. Playing yeah. some tunes and everything. Man. It's just, you these, know, are, these are the times we got to remember. You, whole you've, whirlwind. <laughs> you've been to Mexico, but you haven't the been character. to Mexico in the show. The in real life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was yeah, good. Yeah. I almost forgot that. Thanks for bringing that up. I would have forgotten that. I was when, the church uh, lady. Yeah. Church, you, uh, church lady. Uh, Favorite character. Uh, yeah. uh, I wish this I said was that one motion. thing. <laughs> Voss doesn't share his coke with women. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, that's oh, that was a moment. Uh, I'd rather uh, have uh, a crack uh, pipe and out there. Very mean spirited when yeah. it comes to yeah. coke. And See, when this was all addict. happening for us, I didn't realize how precious those moments were until so we reflect back. <laughs> You'll look on back now. and almost wish you could do it all over again. Oh, my God. But you, you can't, can't go never home recapture again. it. Never you can't recapture go home it. Again. No, no. That's gone. That's been said. It's been done. Fortunately, we can go home right now, though, because I want out of here in the worst fucking way. Friday. Fuck you only have three and a half hours. Oh, yeah. fuck, Bust out. I'm done. Starbucks. I was going to blow out a ten. Shit. Yeah, three and a half hours. I'm not going to see you guys for about six months now. That's another commercial. I know. You're fucking... You're I'll be fucking... Hey, David, hour. what's no. Carbonite about? I don't know what this, uh, this sponsor is all about. David, uh, it, it kept... Carbonite.com? Yeah, what's Carbonite.com, David? <laughs> Carbonite.com is a website where you can go and you can store, like, if you have a lot of files and stuff and you're worried about your computer, like, crashing and... And screwing up, you can save you can save your files on that website. And it's like a server; it stores all your files. So if your computer crashes, you can go back to that website and recover your old your files. Wow, what a deal! <laughs> <laughs> why why do they call it carbonite? Yeah, why do they call? Because it's like carbonite. It's like a carbon copy of your files. Carbonite, carbon copy. Oh. 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 Where, where's the night come in? <clears throat> the night. night. Yeah. yeah. Does it have to do it at night time or what? No, it's like a knight of the realm there to help you. Oh, right. Yes, a knight. K and... Why don't yes. they call it carbon.com? Yeah, carbon, well, carbon copy. I don't know. Yeah. But it's carbonite.com. Yes, it is. Yes. Do you have to keep going to that website? How does this work, That's David? Right. Oh, my God, David. Kept on solo. Yeah, you it? keep going to the website, and you, you get a username, you get a password, oh, and you, so and you uh, you transfer. You download all your files, <laughs> yeah. and your personal files, onto that website, and you pay the fee, that. and then you uh, mm. yeah, it's, it's stored there. Yeah. And then, David, how much is it? I've seen my set after this. Uh, oh, nice. I love to see uh, it. Yeah. I don't know. I don't have the copy in front of me. I don't know how much it is. You should know it's $50 a year. That's right. I didn't know that. $50 a year. Yeah, $50 a year and you got it wrong you don't go to the website after you sign up then you forget about it and it automatically sends all your uh, well not all your files but most of your, your files, personal files your personal files yeah. to Aside. carbonite.com so then if your computer crashes one day like oh wow I could go to carbonite.com and get all my stuff back right. how many That's files the beauty of carbonite. Off, just off the top of your head how many files would you say carbonite has recovered from people with uh, crashed hard drives and whatnot uh, yeah, many 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 Million, maybe that's like a hundred, maybe oh, maybe over a hundred a million files. A hundred million. Wow. Yeah, hundred million. million. How three about million. two billion? Oh! 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 Two oh! billion. Boy, was I wrong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, you sure can say that. Let me ask you this, David. Aside from storing files there, can you store uh, furniture and other things as well? Oh, good, good question, question Kevin Neal. That is a very good question. I think the answer is no. You can't s store furniture. Unfortunate. Uh, you can't store a car. About, what if you don't have a garage, but you have a nice car no. and need it stored? Just no. files. Just Hope, files. Hopes and dreams. No, just files. Just computer files. What about a picture of the car? 
Yes, you can you can oh, store pictures. Oh, 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 yes, you can. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How, How many yeah. pictures of cars have been stored on there? How many pictures of cars, cars have been yeah. stored on yeah, Carbonite? On Carbonite, whoa! Carbonite.com. Uh, I don't know. I'll tell you, five. Five. Yes, okay. Five. <laughs> there reside five pictures of automobiles. Hey, David, what's oh. the offer code? We got an offer code because uh, yeah, if you yeah, sign up now, you get two free months. Uh, the offer code is. Uh, I'm not. I don't have paper in front of me. It's well, O and A. No, no, look no, behind. No, hey. Look behind you. Look behind you. Oh, XM. Okay. Very promo, good. Promo code code XM, or something. Right. No. Offer code is XM. You're right. Can you and Patty make out, please? <laughs> Whoa! No, 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 come no. On. Mother and son no. doing it. That's no. why do you want to see that, Rich? What's that? I said, why would you want to see that? Because yeah, just make me appreciate my wife or something. I don't know. Just make out. You guys look good together. Just man. finger so we can all go home. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, they look good together. Or at, least, yeah, huh? at least pump a little jizz on her dunce cap. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, he toned it down. <laughs> Take a break. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> More comedy. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Kevin is like, what the fuck did oh I walk in? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Kevin I don't know if he'll ever come back. What but a I'm, mess! What a hell of a, a, I mean, appearance! Oh, I think we've done time. enough. Uh, Carbonite.com.